of a Imperator citizens back aboard the Baleful Edict ready to uh, deal with the bloom hopefully once and for all tonight should be the night I'm gonna save this sector from Nurgle um, we've got eight hours of gameplay ahead of us well up to up to eight hours um, got a, it's midnight here in Australia land or Katachan be the 40k equivalent so yeah it's about midnight here in Katachan but to uh better start how hopefully final run to uh take down the last reap or the last reapers and uh set in motion things that we need to set in motion in order to uh win this game um or die trying this is where we left off halfway through a bloom spawn mission to uh, take out these bloom spawns and then take out the spreader well we could go straight to the spreader and take that out that would instantly end the game but um Actually, we've actually gone back in time a bit, I just realized. Um, we actually were a little bit ahead of this, but it, it doesn't, yeah. It doesn't save the game. It seems to go back a turn every time you save in combat. Um, but that's okay. So we've got a little bit of foresight now. Know what's going to happen. Aldor. What is your will? I am his sure. chosen shield. What is your will? Lords the Emperor protects. I am here to serve. The Emperor protects. Apparently, uh, 86% of, well, only seven people have voted, so out of, out of the seven people who have voted, apparently 86% a stubborn players who will play on regardless of anything and never restart. It's pretty good. Actually, no no percent of people that are watching right now have restart items. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't think it'd be that high. Hey, Brennan, how are you going? All right. Um, right we fully shield it up. So as soon as this, as soon as this pod pops on us. Silver dolls, shall we play together? Sure, why not? <laughs> Let's go! Alright. Um, brother, stand ready! I think Brother Neeland has the, has the knockback hammer. Or the knockback uh, glaive. Knockback, yep. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna have some fun blinking guys off cliffs. Yeah, he's pretty good. Alright, um. Yeah, we'll teleport straight into about this. Kind of area, I guess. It's gonna put a few of us into their Overwatch, but we should be able to handle it. All right, not too bad, not too bad. My blade is yours. Unleash me. I am here to serve. Okay, we got a heap of grenades. And use those to. Party started. Mm. Okay. And then Yes, Commander. 
will hammer hand this guy. So we can get, get those sweet, sweet seeds. Blink. Another foul seed claimed. And then. We could probably grenade these guys again. I wonder if that would do anything good. Standing ready. I wonder if like bounce them off the wall. It'll probably just push them more into the wall. Yeah, it didn't really do anything. Um, alright. Unleash me! He's got a lot of movement. Um, we strive. We'll get the stun gun. Let's go. Purge. Taste my fury. Okay, one to finish off the stun. Last point of stun. Threshold that he's got. Boom, he's down. Execute. We um, uncovered the tree, yeah the tree's uncovered, but the tree can't really hurt us, it's only got a 6 range, so we can take our time killing these guys and then wait till the next turn. Your orders? Praise the Emperor. Oh, you can see you can knock him sideways. No That's devil cool. shall elude my gaze. to do some more action points to this bad boy. The Emperor lights our path. Because he's a bit low. Uh, for the Without. Golden Throne! Just get him charged up again. We strive! The enemy weakens! To one left. Two orders. Two left. My blade is ever ready. We slay the darkness. My blade is ever ready. Marvelous. Once. 
save their action points so they can, uh, save their willpower points, sorry, so they can do some buffs later on. No match for the Emperor's Chosen! Back here, so we can kill this. We're kind of um, we're farming XP at the moment, by the way. In case anyone hasn't just standing ready. Right. Um, I think. Do come on. It's like yeah, it's like two, one. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's okay. Has this guy got armor break? No. Maybe it's the knockback hammer that's going I am here to serve. We travel on seen paths. No one's got armor. Okay. Been trying out um, just cards to revoke ability, but it seems like the enraged debuff doesn't actually work. Is that a bug? Um, where it, no, I don't know. I've had a few people. I haven't. I haven't tried it out since uh, yet. Yet, goddammit. Um, what? Like, can you tell us any more about what's happening? Like, when you say it doesn't work, you mean the enemies don't attack, don't attack you. So what it's supposed to do is make ranged units attack you in melee, right? Not doing that. Praise the Emperor. says enemies will try to melee attack the one that used to provoke, but they legit just ignore that and attack other characters with their normal weapons. Um, oh, so they shoot, they're shooting you. They're shooting you, either not, not just melee, not just melee. Like I get, I get you saying they're shooting other characters, not just the one that provoked them, but you're saying they're also shooting you, not just, not even using their melee weapons. Just trying to clarify exactly what's, what we're talking about here. Like, I'll stick the Justicar up front at a ton of armor and provoke a group, and they'll just shoot my other guys in the back or even melee them, and even if they're further away sometimes. Oh. Hey, wait a second. Do you have... Um, do you have the normal provoke, or do you have the upgraded one that's making them go enraged and, like, attack each other? You got the upgraded version where they, they're meant to attack each other? There's an enemy that lets you force them attack. Normal one calls is enraged, upgrade one does craze, which using the Inquisitor does actually work. Okay, so you've got the non-upgraded one that's supposed to just enrage, but it doesn't seem to be working. Hmm, that's interesting. No, I haven't I mean I've had people say that they used it, but I haven't actually tried it out myself. My blade is ever what is your will. At your service. 
He's got the natural, highest natural armor. I think the turn's gonna end as soon as we do this, so. He's got it all kind of got the same. Not the same thing. So, um, we wanna give it to. Unleash me! Him, let's say. Yes, Commander. I don't think they're going to get the action. They won't get the action points with them anyway, because these guys are. Oh, the big boy! Permission to engage, Commander. I wonder how far can he move? He only moves three. Hmm. Can we just like shoot him down? Why just shoot this guy? Yeah, that's really, um, yeah, that really sucks because I was, because I feel like, um, I feel like, um, you know, Overwatch sort of techniques and using like Paladins with their, like, uh, their AoE melee Overwatch and all that. Like, I feel like all that stuff only really works if, you know, if Enrage works. Uh, if, yeah, if Enrage works. So, yeah, I don't know. What is your win? If that's true and that's bugged out, it's not good. Well, I mean, obviously it's not good. I don't think we can just um, sit here and wait for this. Um... Wait for this um... beastie. See what's going to happen. I don't think it'll even make it into a range this turn, but. If we get more reinforcements this turn, it might be annoying. Uh, I've committed. To, I've kind of committed to it now. My blade is yours. I am the chosen shield. The emperor protects. Vulnerability is good for support fire. Okay, good to know. Unleash me.
standing ready. And we're not really, not really, uh, it's not really happening for us. I might have to do this. The Emperor lights our path. Ammunition depleted. And six damage that or can't even get it. All right, well, we've got to do six damage with that. It will be done. Healed himself. Yeah. Standing ready. Should have done that a little earlier. Yeah, we can't do execute on this on this bad boy then. We slay the darkness. All right, sides level up now. <laughs> I love that. I love it. Yeah, just like punting creatures off cliffs and stuff is just fantastic. Your orders? Okay, so yeah, so he can't be parried. So. If we can uh, disable a melee weapon, that means no one can, we can't parry anyone anymore. Which is good stuff. Um, yeah, so you inflict crazed permanently on them. You can apparently make your own like zombie army of um, plague bearers with that if you want. Which is pretty cool. We'll advance with our Justicars, cards, get them up front and center. We should get a um, point recharge after this. We still got six more turns left to finish destroying, finish destroying the bloom. Um, just in case, just in case we don't want to use another teleport straight away, we can go this way. My blade is ever ready. Defense is ready. Affirmative. 
Legendary Grandmaster, that's what you're looking for. Hey, all those wagons. Come to the right place. That's how we roll. That's how we do it around here. Unleash me! The Aegis shields us. I'll give the XP to the librarian. Power. We have purified this place. Right. Praise and the Emperor. You can go and get that. On my give way. Us an extra turn. Very nice. Yeah, I wanna I wanna play this game again, but this time I wanna focus on uh, mobility. Like, instead of having everyone in Terminator armor, have, like, a lot of, well, maybe at the start at least, have all my guys not in Terminator armor. And, um, yeah, mobility and firepower. My blade is ever ready. I might get this guy to go over here. We can chase down that seed. So far, my heavy weapon squad was a complete fail. Oh, really? Hmm. Did you have an interceptor, or how? What, what was your like? So I was still planning on having an interceptor. I was going to have a, an interceptor with support fire. Um, we could actually even give your interceptor a um, heavy weapon if you want. That'd be pretty cool. Just a car, interceptor, and two burger tours. Yeah, that, that was what I wanted to start off with as well. Two burger tours, pure, two burger tours a purifier, and a chaplain would be a good mix. Or a chaplain and triple interceptor. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's lots of, there's lots of different stuff that's viable. Um, I don't know if there's lots of different stuff that's like optimal though. I may never know how to make it work. Well, yeah, I mean, I think it'd be a cool. Um, I think it'd be a cool thing to do as a next campaign for this, though, because there's because it's not also it's also not just about what I know. It's also about what all you guys know. Like if I like because like I'm playing melee melee, right? So most of the tips that people are giving me and the help that you guys because I like although I did, this is like a blind playthrough. Um, this is my well, this is my second campaign, but I, I died fairly early in the first one. Um, and these have been blind playthroughs, but they're not completely blind because I get I get little tips and hints and stuff like that from you guys as well. So if I was playing a full range build, you know, maybe I'd be getting more tips and tricks and things that would pertain to uh, ranged builds, you know. So it would be, um, it might, yeah, we might be able to sort of collect some ideas. Because it tends to be like, when you do a stream of stuff, it tend, you tend to get like heaps of people in the chat all giving their ideas about the relevant stuff and that. So yeah, but, um, but yeah, I, I'm not saying that yeah, I'm not saying that after after I stream it, you'll suddenly be able to make it work, but maybe we can collect a few tips. I think, um, but yeah, I think also, I think also ranged is just not as good, you know. But yeah, um, yeah, and I yeah, librarian is very powerful. I don't know. I think even with a even with a full range build, you want librarian. I reckon, especially if you're going for short range stuff like the pure like the ranged purifier. Come on. Yeah, we're still at seven turns remaining, so we're doing all right. The Emperor lights our path. What is your This way? guy can go over and pluck this seed. So yeah, one thing I noticed with these is never set a waypoint. Always click directly on the vent. Moving Otherwise, now. sometimes you'll stop right next to the vent and not actually harvest the seed. Um, if you just click directly on, if you just click directly on the vent, it usually does it. Um, but if you try and make him come from a certain angle or whatever by doing the waypoints, it's yeah, it's a bad idea. It screws it up. Onward, brothers! Onward, brothers! Alder. Moving out. Main problem is that you don't deal enough damage, in my opinion. Yeah, that's the thing. Maybe it's like... Mm, maybe it's like more of... A, oh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like early game with the Purgatory, you can... 
lay down some pain with the ranged. But you don't have without that. Yeah, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. It's like once you yeah, you get a lot of once you get later in the game, you get a lot more weapons. Um, there's a lot. You, you know, you get a lot more synergies kind of available and stuff like that. So yeah, it's interesting. At your service. All right, let's see how close we can get to this spreader. Oh, wait, well, that's the bloom spawn. That's the spreader, right? Yeah. Should we just maybe we should just finish it? We'll just teleport up top and then just kill them all. There you go. Um, I'll just check how far away can we, how close we can get here. Um, so it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Look to that. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so we should be able to come to there. Yes, sir. My last try, I died at day four hundred. Got surrounded by like twenty-five enemies. Yeah, I was thinking of going like, well, maybe maybe two purgators is too many. Maybe you want just want one purgator. I don't know. Yeah, I was thinking about having, um, basically having this interceptor pretty much the same as I've got this one, making him like probably giving him the two swords again. My my idea is that the interceptor is like my stealth scout kind of thing. Like he'd be like an, inter an intercessor from um, 40k. My blade is yours. Um, he'd be like my forward scout and spotter. Then you need the librarian, obviously, to be able to teleport into into the zone. Um, then take obviously at least one purgator. Um, but yeah, two purgators would be good. I don't know. Orams went with four purgators, which I thought was interesting. But certain things that are like immune to ranged and stuff, it would be kind of screwed up. Purgator with Astral Aim, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, I wonder if we get in, like, this direction. If we come around like this. I wonder if we'll get vision. Oh, no, we don't. Alright, cool. So we can actually run around there a bit closer. Um, Unleash me. Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter how close we get because we're going to teleport anyway. See if this sets it off. I reckon it's gonna set it off when you guys around the corner of the, of the stairs. There. My blade. What is your emperor likes our Right. We could we potentially could shoot that from range, but One of those guys comes here on the stairs. Oh, really <laughs> oh, big boy! Um, we shall claim victory with blood. Victory with blood. That sounds like a good amount of victory. Just the right amount. Detected. We cannot let it pollinate nearby systems. It must be stopped now. Hey, has it been Yeah, I could because it's a weekend, so I thought I'd do an early stream today. Um, I managed to get straight to bed after work, so 
recharged. The morale is high. Where's my seed gone? There. Doesn't this guy have a seed? Yeah, three seeds. Oh, you can tell how many seeds they've got. I didn't realize that. You can actually see how many. That's good. Okay. Um, we need a crit on this bad boy. Your command. We'll do a. My blade is yours. Let's just do a normal. Good. Now, librarian, is ever ready. we can uh, hunt him straight off the straight off the side of the mountain. I think it's three knockbacks should go over the edge. Oh, he didn't go straight backwards. He went on a bit of an angle. That sucks. Your orders. Are you ready? I'm here to serve. Unfortunately, we don't have any more good Unleash money. me. Praise the Emperor. My blade is ever ready. Doom ability is really good. You mean the the like AO, the, the um, AOE ability that the um, librarian's got? Alright, we'll get some executes, get some more action points. Foe wounded! The enemy weakens! Would be nice to knock them off the cliff in melee. Yeah, I would, but um, but um, I want to just get the, when I get executes on them. Moving now. So I, some extra action points. I am the wrath of Zyphos. Unleash me. I must sanctify my rounds. My blade is yours. Brushed. Um, we could we could kill the knight as we could try and kill him as well, but I feel like it's a bit. It'll take a while. Like I might just get our get our seeds and. Get the hell out of here. My will is spent. Oh, does Void of Doom push it? You think Void of Doom pushes enemies? Your command. We've got Sard and Antonius. Win. Okay, so Antonius can go ham. Yes, commander. A crit. Probably could have killed him actually, but R or less. Down. 
Okay, so that thing's one pot one shot away from death. Yeah. Okay, he can shoot. Um, Alright, we'll um we'll switch we'll swap action points, so we'll give him plus three action points. to worry about now, so... This guy can get him back. Uh, give him three action points, actually. Uh, I'm not sure who's got the best gun. What's he got? Uh, five damage, four, five damage plus four damage versus demonic. Is this thing demonic? How do we tell if it counts as demonic? Does it have a, a mechanical? Okay, so no, it doesn't count as demonic. Um, Alright, this guy is done. Does four damage. Plus three crit damage, and it's got he's got a lot of crit. This guy, this gun, does make a stun. Okay, now so this guy's the best one to give it to. And between the two of them, I don't know if they'll be able to fully take this guy out, but they might be able to get close. Seventy-five crit, yeah, nice. I must meditate. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna get the kill. We might be a little bit, uh, a little bit short. Ammo depleted. Uh, maybe we've got seven action points left. Gotta make sure we save one to kill this plant with. So good. Mm, good. Yeah, I think we're gonna get him. Void of Doom just does major damage, yeah. Yeah, you got the XP, 38 experience for you. Right, let's go check the melee. And then Sard can um, do the killing blow. Boom. Victory! A battle well fought and won, Commander. Um, we have dealt the enemy a major blow today. Beat me up, Vector. Alright, so we should have. We fed a fair bit of XP into um, our. Librarian and our um, and our Justica, Sard and Neeland. The ship is busted. We've only got one hull, one hull point left. If we get one more event that require that makes us lose a hull point, we're going to die and lose the whole ship. So that's uh, that's an issue. It is an issue. We have got sixteen new um, things. We got servitors. So now we've got the servitors. We can repair the ship. So if we can just try not to get blown up before we are able to actually uh, do that, then we'll be alright. Um, what are we going to miss out on? Extra passive slot powered armor, that's pretty nice, but not a super big deal. Oh, stun weapon. So it does three stun on a... When this guy executes targets, he gets plus one AP. This order gives plus two AP. Oh, so with this, oh man, check this weapon out. This weapon's beast. You could get like plus three 
plus three action points on an execute. How crazy is that? I, w I wonder if like there's always, like I don't think I've seen a tier three version of this weapon. Like is there, are there certain weapons that are just tier, like, I don't know, like does every weapon have like a tier one, two and three version of it? Or are there like, like somebody was saying this in chat the other day, saying that there's like these type of things, like these like equipment slot and war gear things. Um, they, um, like normally they've got tiers, so this is the tier two one. I've already got the tier three one version of this, so I'm not going to take it. But there are some that don't have any tiers, somebody was saying. So you get one of these, but it doesn't have a tier listed, you, but you only, you get it as a tier one drop. Like the number here will be tier one, like as in it's a tier one drop, but it won't actually have a tier or a level over here. They're just like unique. Um, uh, Night Heaven says, I think they're all unique regardless of the tier. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I thought I sort of thought there was like a level one stun gun, a level two stun gun, a level three stun gun. But maybe it's not like that. It's like they're all actually unique. And like this weapon, like I haven't seen a tier three version of this. So if this is the only one that's like that, that gives you plus action point, like that's actually kind of crazy. Um, I have the Sandic Shard number three in my normal game, gives 50 auto chance. Yeah, yeah, I've got it as well. Grey Knight Apothecary. I want to, I want to try out the Apothecary, but I just haven't been able to. I set up, I set up a whole channel in the Discord so we could share saves, and I thought this was going to be really exciting. I was like, I, I like, I added everybody, like, hey guys, got a new save, fucking channel here, blah blah. And then I, and then a couple of people sent me saves, and um, and I was like, cool, I'm going to check out this save with an with an Apothecary because I haven't had a chance to use one. And then as soon as I try to load it up, it's like, um, error. This save is from a different Steam ID. Can't say it, can't share. <coughs> can't share saves. Um, so yeah, so that's a real bummer because I'm used to sharing saves in, in Total War Warhammer. But, um, but um, yeah, I guess it's like people, they don't want you people exploiting to get the, um, get the, you know, doing exploits to get the, um, uh, achievements and stuff. I don't really care about the achievements though. I just want to talk for science, you know, I just want to share around our saves. So, you know, if somebody gets something, you can email it to somebody else and they can check out the save and see what's up with it. All right, let's see what our apothecary is doing. I was guess this guy looks like, I don't know. He looks like a purifier almost just cause he's got the sword and everything. Um, great destiny. You know what that means? It means we gotta kill him so we can get the skill point. Oh dear. Alright, well we won't bother renaming him, we won't waste the rename on him. I'll, if I think I might keep him, I'll do a rename. I know a lot of the guys, like, they get renamed and then I just kill them anyway. But at least I try not to rename him if I know I'm gonna definitely kill them, so... Yeah, I don't... I think we're definitely gonna kill him. Alright, Blondin has reached his final form. Well, yeah. until unless we can find some more skill points too. Unless we can find some more sacrifices to feed into him. Um, so we can get his auto up to do plus three, so five damage. That'd be pretty good. Plus two crit damage could be good too. And there's so many options. Name him Juicy and put him in the blender. Yeah. Pretty much how it's going to go down. There's so many good options. Like I want this. So this is probably going to be actually more useful, more and will get used more. Uh, I'm not going to use this. I haven't really used um, teleport strike at all for this guy. Um, once you, if you get into executions, you don't really like to teleport strike that much because it wastes all of his action points that you need for your executions, and it um, doesn't do any stun. I really like to get this. Um, I might go one armor. And one willpower. Uh, he's got. No, we'll give him just two armor.
That way, if we do upgrade him, it'll be pretty good. Plus three range attack with Storm Bolter, yeah. He's got this super long Storm Bolter range, it's pretty good. Alright, uh, Sardaris. Aris. So, alright, so we don't want to go for Provoke, because apparently it doesn't work. I've already got Provoke on, provoke on one of my other characters anyway. Um, the auto reload would be nice. Um, but I think, yeah, I think Ruthless Precision is probably like one of the best things you can get. More shields would be nice too. Just that hurts like taking two points and they're both shit. Like this is bleed and this is, and this is, um, oh, Force Strike gets plus one damage. Oh, well, I mean, that's, that's actually not bad. But yeah, this is what you want. A crit extraction point for a crit. And then all the extra armor would be good too. Alda. All right, Neeland. Neeland's getting up there now. It costs two willpower. Mm, two willpower is a bit pricey. Uh, I think the psychic shriek would be really useful. Yeah, we'll finish off that when we get two more points. We'll keep power. We'll keep trying to power this guy out more. Okay. We're right there. Now we've got to we've got to fix our we've got to fix that ship. Um. So we can go for this. Start getting some servitors, which would be very good. Uh, we really need to go for this. Eight services. Eight servitors. Twenty-seven days. That put us, that'll give us three hull integrity, put us from one back up to four. This takes 12 servitors, takes 18 days, but put us from one up to two. All right, I think we need to do this. We just, we need to be safe. Because, um, yeah, if we lose that last hull point, it's game over. And we're so close to the end now, so. So we've got to, we've got to play it safe. Using the Bionetic Equation, I have already analyzed all possible that is satisfactory. I and the ship remain vigilant. Our window for communication has the edicts which on the spectral analysis we are polar opposites. We have grown used to each other. But for the first 3,000 interactions, things were a lot more terse. <laughs> All praise to the machine god! Alright, I'm just going to advance time without moving, because I think... I hope that there's less chance of getting events if we just stand still. The Baleful Edict is a large ship, command. Enough for now. The bloom festers. All right. Now we need to do, I mean, we need to um, do a third one of these. I don't know which one we should go for. What's that one? Is this one like a giant hell brute? Looks like he's armored. Could be kind of cool. Hopefully he's not too dangerous. Yeah, once that technology is finished, we'll get we'll get the opportunity to go and take out another um, 
Who? Nick. I don't want to fight anyone. I mean, we probably win because we've got level three guns, level four guns, sorry. But um, yeah, I don't want to risk it until our um, until our gears. You know. Commander, the conclave is a prick. The astropaths have silenced. Just as I warned, Ektar. Too Oops. late. Yeah, you know, I actually wanted to listen to that, but oh. Well. Oh well. <laughs> Whatever that was. <laughs> is this game better than XCOM? Well, oh, I don't know. It's I feel like it's probably better than XCOM one, maybe? Without the DLC. Like this just came out and it's got no DLC. So I'd say it's got the potential to be better than XCOM, but it's not it needs more DLC, I'd say. It's pretty good though. It's basically it's basically the same as XCOM. Like pretty much everything that you want to have that's in XCOM you've got in this, like you know the the hardcore tactical gameplay we have to think you think out all your moves and stuff like that it doesn't have the rng as much rng as xcom but much less rng than xcom um, it's a lot more chess like where you can you know exactly what's going to happen every time you do a move um but it's got that hardcore kind of tactics that xcom's got it's got like your knights have unique um each knight has his own unique skill that's like chosen kind of at random or whatever um so you know each guy is like unique it's not just like one Justicar is the same as another Justicar. You can actually get unique traits on them, the same as you could with um, with XCOM 2. Um, it's got these really cool like storyline type of. Actually, I really like the store. I really like the dilemmas. I think the dilemmas are done really well in this because they always give you enough information for you to do like make an intelligent decision. You know, you might not know exactly what's going to happen, but it always like gives you some information. You know. Okay, so this one we can make it to. It's right close, so we should definitely probably take that. Um, this is going to give us requisition. We really need servitors. More grimoires. I mean, it would be good to get some more grimoires, I guess. Requisition. Servitors. Okay, so that's where the servitors are at. There's a purifier there. Oh yeah. Also, I want to get a. Ch I want to get a chaplain. Apothecary. Just a car. Yeah, scepter. Yeah, no, no, no chaplains, unfortunately. Oh well. So if we go, mm, if we went straight to the servitors, then. We could get them, but if we go to this one, we can get two two different missions in, which I think would be a good idea. This one... Hmm, I'm not really sure about this. So, this one is... This one's already at five stars, right? Then, like, if it maxes out, will it? Will I lose the planet straight away, or will I, I then be presented with a gate mission after this time's out? Because, like, sometimes I was getting a gate mission when it's on five, but there's no gate mission there right now, so I'm not sure what's going on. There. I kind of think we should go for the servitors. Even though it's... Oh, no. Commander, your prognosticar choir has detected anomalous bloom activity in a nearby... Our prognosticars? It does seem odd. If so, it would be utterly without precedent in our order. Yet, I am still wary. The brother in question would surely embrace this opportunity for glory. But we must assume he could be walking into a trap. Only one of our knights is capable. All right, brother Wuda, Wuda Storm is going to go into the into the darkness. I will inform our brother at once. He's on assignment. All right. Um, I don't want to go through that warp storm, otherwise we're going to get fucked up. So yeah, I think I screwed up already by doing that. I didn't realize there was a warp storm there, and then. Shit. 
Oh, this is the research finish, did it? That's right. It's re just the research finishing. We're okay. I thought that was like something happened and we're about to get our ship blown up. Because we've still only got one hull. Until that finishes, that until that construction project finishes, we've still got one hull, so we can die at any moment. Well, not any moment, just any time there's an event. Oh, she doesn't look well. What's going on, Bikia? I feel it through the void. A wind of putrid spores. I, a trillion innocents doomed with every breath. I did what was necessary. The Reaper's course emanates before me. We must resume the hunt. She looks pretty chaosified. We're in about um, day 690, I think. 700. Oh, the Reaper's right there. Radical Inquisitors are heretics. Exactly. They should all be purged. Win mission without using grenades. Can do. No problemo. Uh, high difficulty. Um, hmm. uh, right, you can... Antonius Bores. One more time. Well, can we take a suicide? Can we take a suicide night into this one? Maybe. London's level nine. So he can't get any more experience. Um, Spartan's nine, 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 nine. Our oh, Wooda's on mission. We can take Verinx. In. Hmm. I don't know if going in with no interceptor at all would be a bad idea, maybe. Hmm. Nah, if we're going to take in a suicide guy, then we need to take in... I need to take him to London. London. If we suicide this guy, we, do we, we don't lose his gear, do we? Suicide, you mean sacrifice for the Emperor's life. Exactly. That's exactly what I mean. I mean, he's, he's going to give a great sacrifice. I'll check out all these abilities. So he's got warp speed, which is going to be pretty crazy. This should actually be pretty fun. I almost want to keep this guy. Maybe we should just keep him. He's pretty beast. He's got great destiny. I kind of like the great destiny guys because they're like, they're just on the, they're just living on the edge, you know, they're just one death away from death the whole time. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just... I won't... Maybe I'm not going to sacrifice him. I'm going to keep him. Uh, let's give him... Plus one damage. Auto reload. Nice. Extra crit. Sound pretty good to me. Yeah, he's got ranged crit. Melee weapon. What melee weapon did he have? It was a healthy weapon. So what do we got? Crit damage halberd. Yeah, crit damage halberd would be pretty good. 
Uh, but if I take the halberd, then I can't use his heal, right? Oh, actually, we've got like a we've got a beast Nathgarium. It's got thirty percent crit and does armor break. No, oh, twenty only twenty percent crit. What we got here? Plus two armor. The passive slot. Mm, okay. Yeah, we can't afford any upgrades. That's okay. Servo skulls or he's probably gonna be doing ranged damage mostly I think. Yeah, I would like to have him to have Ruthless Precision, but he doesn't currently have that. Melee or ranged? Melee or ranged? I guess if he's melee, then he's going to be able to keep up better. Good. So we're feeding XP to Neelan and Kidron. Primarily to Kidron, I guess. Yeah, we still need a couple. We need still need one or two more guys for our secondary squad. So this, I mean, I really wanted to try out the apothecary. Um, I'm really disappointed that we can't share saves because I was gonna. Because um, yeah, um, one of the guys took um, sent me a. Um, High Dark, I think his name is. Sent me a save with the level five, level five apothecary ready to roll. But uh, yeah, I couldn't actually load it. Update. Orbital clearance achieved. The Adeptus Mechanicus have allocated strict deployment parameters for this forge world. Infested like this, and they still play tight with their secrets. Our failure will initiate an immediate planet-wide self-destruction protocol. Do not fail. Okay. That's pretty serious. We can probably kick the door in and then just get on straight away with this one. Um. The Aegis shields us. It's good. Four shields, four shield now. That's pretty good. Um. I am here to serve. Purity. Oh, I can't cast on anyone else till next turn. Oh. Lords in hope. My blade is ever ready. I am his chosen shield. Yes, Commander. The angel shields us. All right. Your orders.
What is your will? Oh, none of them can actually make it. Um, I wonder if we're going to be able to see over that. Maybe we won't. Uh, maybe we won't actually. Maybe we won't go in this turn. We'll just stack up. What is your will? Your orders. Praise the emperor. What is your will? Standing ready. On my way. Hey Dave. What is the sword icon? Sword icon where? Your command. Affirmative. Confused. Thought icon. Oh, I didn't rename the. I didn't rename the apothecary. So this rename this apothecary's apothecary's name is um, Pus Bando. So I haven't actually done his name yet. The emperor lights up. The emperor protects. Arles. I am his chosen shield. Let's get everyone all shielded up. Standing ready. The Aegis shield up. Uh, warp speed biomancy on this bad boy here. Moving out. My wrath is restored, brother. Let's rock. Nice. Draw your steel. Still in the holidays? No, I'm not back at work now, Dave. Unfortunately. Power. Commander, Defending we've made hand. contact with the enemy. Alright, well, we need to blow some shit up here, obviously. Um what is your will? Alright, see you like that. Didn't they see too much damage? Then they knocked their armor off. How wounded. Alright, um. Your orders? Okay, here we can hit everybody. We strive. All right, we'll take um, we'll stun this guy down. For starters. Um, yeah, not on holidays, unfortunately. So yeah, we've got way less time for um, Unleash me. way less time for orders. Yes, Commander. The Emperor lights off. So this guy's currently rocking. He's got the buff on here, yeah? warp speed. Yeah, nice. Plus two move speed, plus four crit damage. Pretty, pretty good buff. Pretty good buff. Let's say. 
Alright, um, we'll give him lots of AP. This guy's also rocking the warp speed. Pretty nice. Wrong guy. What is your will? Beautiful. Foe wounded. Right now, Leoden. Get the kill of this guy. I am with you. Drill him. Cook his gene seed. So yeah, he's giving himself warp speed as well. So that's pretty good. Praise the emperor. Blessed ammunition depleted. The stun buff is good. Yeah, I haven't got that yet. No devil shall elude my gaze. My blade is ever ready. Okay, librarian is going to teleport to there. Not warp charge. Travel on sea paths. Gonna hit this guy with one stun. And then this Your orders. Get the execute. Oh yeah, drill him. See them fall, brothers. Nice. Um. And then he can put this on the librarian. I think the librarian is the only one that doesn't have warp speed right now. Standing ready. He doesn't have it right now. So yeah, so we get warp speed on him as well. Oh, immune to autos. I didn't even realize that. That's awesome as well. My wrath is restored, brother. Well, they cast it on himself as well. I didn't realize it was... Is it 100% chance for him to get... Sympathetic. What are you? 15%... 15% to save the boon. Okay, so he's only got a 15% chance to gain the same boon, but he's just been lucky enough to get it, I think, twice now, so... That's pretty good. Um, I am here to serve. Um, we should send this guy. I wonder if we can get him to get this. He could maybe... Hmm. Okay. Um, My blade is ever ready. Hey, everyone's... Oh no! Kill him! Damn it! The flight is ended! It's like, no... My blade is yours. Alright. Oh no, that's gonna set off the pod.
That was close. That was so close. He was like one square away. If he had have just moved, if he had been a little bit closer, he would have set that off. And that would have been bad for us. Um, he probably doesn't even need to use his teleport, he can just run, run back. Very fine. There's another um, vent. There's another vent over there. Could send the librarian after it. What is your will? Armor, brothers! None may hide from our warp site. Okay, so there's a pot over there. Reardon. Um. Yeah, we're gonna lose our um. Chapter. Right, I didn't think this through, obviously. Um, I am here to serve. He didn't yes, think this through down. at all. Unleash me. Shoot him twice. Two action points will give us. So I could kill him in two hits. Or we could kill him with three hits and then everyone gets an extraction point. So yeah, extraction point for everybody is going to be the way to go. Blessed are our arms! If we can pull this off and reset the turn again, then we'll be um, happy days. I think everyone's still got warp speed, yeah. Commander. Yeah, won't worry about the scene. Okay. Let's see what Right, so we can use melee on it. We can use melee or range, they both both work. The Emperor um, lights our path. Hit it with a crit. First. Seeking the tainted. Get vulnerability on it. Can you stack vulnerability? Hundred percent resistance. What the fuck? Just uh, executed it by himself.
Oh, you got another action point back again. Um, we'll just do a normal... Oh, he can probably... Is he already shielded or no? Yeah, that's his shielded version. Yeah, yeah. Um... So... He can... Can we get the... No, no, we can't get the thing because it's underneath him. God damn it. Your orders? Reaction points with this guy. Give that last, um, give the last hit to the apothecary. These guys and start marching towards the next next objective. Moving out. More or less. Get the kill with the apothecary, and then the interceptor can um, grab this and catch up faster. Aldo. Hopefully, we, yeah, we won't get. Stars within the shadows. Yeah, the patrol's gonna move. That's okay. Um, we still got like a lot of map to cover. Um, if we go down there, is there a ramp there? No, there's no ramp. Oh, there's a ramp. Yeah, there is a ramp. There's a ramp there. Um, hmm. But yeah, so we'll probably jump down here, set that off. It's a, mm, let's just count the squares. So we'll put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like there, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we should be able to come to about there, I guess. We'll just go to here. So we'll see. Now. It's good. You learn much about 40k with this game. Hey, Gluten. Um, mm, I don't think there's... Well, it depends what you mean by much. Like, I mean, you learn a lot about the general vibe of the game. And 40k is so big. Like, I don't know. It's like... Fuck, that's a question. You've just blown me. You've just, like... You've just locked me up. It's like... Uh, <laughs> error, error. There's just too... Like, that question is a really hard, really hard question to answer. Like, 40k is so big, you know, and there's so many different things in 40k, and it's, there's, there is sort of rules to it, I guess, but it's so, like, standing ready. why, it's so broad that, like, you don't really get to understand the rules of it until you've, until you've like, Threat absorbed a lot of it, you know? Um... Taking position. Yeah, now that he's done his job of buffing everybody, basically all he needs to do is just get kills at the end. So he's pretty much set. Uh, librarian. Ready. Librarian can try to just button bolt right into melee. Law YouTubers and books are much better to learn about the law, in my opinion. Yeah, that's good. Yes, thanks for helping me out with that one, Lord Grimaldus. Yeah, yeah. If you want to learn, if you want to learn about 40k, the best thing is probably just to watch watch law YouTubers and read the books. Um, the reading the books will give you the best experience. Like the like reading the books will make you like love it. Will make you love 40k. You know, um, 
because it, it gives you that emotional connection to it you know but um but once you love 40k then like just watching law youtubers will just broaden and deepen that love um but yeah i was just gonna say like it's just like 40k isn't one thing you know it's a giant it's a galaxy made up of like innumerable different things and yeah there's like i don't know can we get a chain reaction explosion what the fuck is that oh that's one of those things yeah um yeah no i don't think there's much in the way of chain reaction explosion stuff happening rock what is that beginning this guy is a um bettered bloat drone basically they've got this thing paralytic per, per reprisal which means every time you shoot at them you get your bullets like reflect back at you and you take four damage um oh, and you get immobilized so basically you can't shoot them it's basically just a bit and um, yeah, hopefully it'll be dead before we get to it. We have to worry about any of its other uh, its other properties. My blade is ever ready. All right, we'll get some stun action. No, actually, with the librarian, plus two stun. I think is that thing. I oh, know we may as well get in here as well. Plus four stun on all these guys. Yeah. Alright. Now we should get a lot of um, a lot of stuns. Oh, that disrupts as well. Ah, oh, I didn't realise that. Disruption means that they they don't get to use their autos. So that means we can actually shoot this thing now. It's pretty crazy. I am here to serve. Right. This should be really fun. So set up three different executes there. Pretty nice. Your command. At once. Actually, I won't get all the executes with him because he um, he doesn't need his he doesn't need the willpower. Because this guy does. get a crit on this guy to get the seeds. I don't know if I care about the seeds that much though. Command. He needs willpower as well. Shots off. The Emperor lights up off.
Hmm. My blade is ever ready. My blade is ever ready. Your orders? I must rearm. Pretty good. Now, yes, this guy can do a stun and then get the uh, execute. I've claimed a seed. Beautiful. My blade is yours. Praise the Emperor. What is your will? He's got six action points. Standing ready at your service. Taking position. You have been judged. Nice. Okay. What is your will? Beat this thing down. Lights are parked here. <laughs> we have purified right. this place. We might need to stop giving this guy, um, we might need to stop giving this guy kills because, um, we need a willpower on the other characters that are all getting fucked up. Um, oh, maybe we should just go straight for the spreader because. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we're good to farm more kills, I guess, but... We kind of need to get out of here before we run out of uh, willpower and stuff. Which we've kind of already done. Praise the Emperor. I am here to serve. Advancing. Steam Workshop mods open for this game yet? Mm, I am here to would, serve. I think it'd be a bit early, wouldn't it? My blade is yours. But yeah, I think with I think with 40k, um, it's not like. I think with 40k, for me anyway, I don't know if it's the same for everybody, but it's not so much about learning much about 40k. It's not like, it's not like there's, I guess, yeah, this is, I think this is what I was trying to say. It's not like 40k is like a thing and you can learn all of it. And once your Holy knowledge shit. is complete, then you'll be finished. You know what I mean? It's like, um, it's like a ongoing, never ending journey kind of thing. There's always going to be more. Yes, um, you know, your knowledge of 40k will never be complete. Um, like literally, there just will always be more. They're always making more of it, you know. Um, what is your will? And like, and and I don't think that you should approach it as My if it's like a period of history or something that you're trying to learn everything about it. I think the way to approach it is more like. Um, 
Well, basically, basically, you just want the first book, like you want the first forty k book that you read to be awesome, you know, so that you won't, you don't know anything about the wider world of the forty k. You just know that it's a fucking terrible, terrible place. But like, you know, the first story you read will be like, this is awesome. These characters are awesome. This place and time in the one of forty thousand galaxy is amazing, and I know that it's part of this just you know endless galaxy full of horrors you know um and it's it's like that thing is like even though you're only reading that book about that one thing you've got that sense that it's part of this ginormous universe you know and um and yeah so yeah the realization that there's so much to it yeah that's right yeah that's it's that realization that there's so much more to it but you don't need to know all of that other stuff like you just know that there's so much more stuff out there but you don't need to know that stuff you know and so I think the best thing is like not so much to worry about learning as much as possible as fast as you can it's more about like just choosing a story that's good and making that first experience the best that it can be you know so like basically i would just ask people like i wouldn't ask people like um you know what's a book i can read to give me the most knowledge about 40k in one go i just ask them to say what's the best 40k book that you've ever read you know tell me that and i'll read that you know that's my answer <laughs> I wouldn't start like again I, I say i wouldn't start with the horus heresy books i feel like the horus heresy books are so good once you already know the current setting like when you know the current setting and then you go back to the horus heresy then it like just adds something to it you know whereas i feel like well i don't know actually i haven't done it the other, i've only done it the, like because obviously the horus heresy didn't exist well the horus heresy series didn't exist until after a lot of us had already become familiar with the um the game this the background but but yeah anyway this is my take on it. Everyone's still... We're still on the same turn, yeah? Everyone's still got Wolf Speed. I started with Emperor's Gift because of Grey Knights and I really enjoyed it. Nice. Is Emperor's Gift the first one or is Grey Knight the first one? I, I, my, I just ordered it. My wife just ordered it for me. Onward, brothers! The, like the Omnibus. We do not fail against this menace. You're not a menace. You're the holy light of the Imperium. Brother of the Emperor, the that one's massive. We will not be it's a big one, all right. Brothers, destroy that thing before the demons surround you. Can do. All right. Sure, only for everyone. Yeah, everyone knew 40k before Horus, except for the new people. But that's the thing. Like the way that we learned it, we already knew what a desolate fucked up place that the 40k universe was and then when you go back and read Horus Rising it's like you know it just gives you that it gives you that it's that like sadness I guess about how beautiful it could have been and about how like it was such this grand this grand um this grand ambition for humanity you know that the the great crusade was going to reclaim all of the lost human worlds and stuff like there was dark there was darkness there already you know there was already that darkness of the emperor's ambition you know perhaps being inhuman you know or whatever um that there was a that was there you know but there's also this nobility and you know the glory of the human empire you know um but um yeah <laughs> didn't work out that well i guess in the end standing ready Hmm, okay. Um, Your orders? This is a bit of a complicated one. But we got this. We got this. And then the um, librarian can get the execute, which will give him enough willpower to do the stun strike, stun um, shriek. Victory! <laughs> Smells like victory. No, we need one more. Uh, Hmm. The 
warp resists my will. Oh shit, I didn't take the seed. Fuck. The whole point of it was to get the seed. What a dumbass. Alder. Unleash me! Your orders? My blade is yours. Like, no one got the willpower out of that. The, this um, this auto-fire bullshit doesn't give you any um, willpower or experience. So that sucks. Alright, well... Gaunt's ghosts are pretty good, yeah. Stun 2, we need to find stun 4 though. Fuck. Um. Your command. Yes, commander. What is your will? Man, this is gonna get messy. I must meditate. Praise the Emperor. Blessed ammunition depleted. my balls. Break my balls. Off. Your orders. The enemy is wounded. Alda. No, these are all books in my favorite. Yeah, death. one of my favorites. Probably my favorite. Yeah. Your orders. your will at your service my blade is ever ready all right i think we just have to go for the kill it's gonna get messy otherwise Foe wounded unleash me on the hunt 
The other cast is going to come available after a certain time passes. Yeah, they do, yeah. I've gotten to the point where I've got to go to the craft world ship. Yeah, no, you don't get the advanced craft classes till after the craft world ship. Um, go down with Napa. <clears throat> don't really want to go without a librarian. You'll be right. Just take an interceptor and a couple of just the cars. Just as just as good. Basically the same thing. The only thing is, I would yeah, I would um, just research the I research the um, eternity gate. I researched this in the gate of infinity. And the Quicksilver stratagems before I went to the craft world, that's what I did. Um, or at least get the Gate of Infinity. Actually, yeah, I think I did that. I think I got at least one of them. Wounds inflicted. Focus. As ordered. We, do, we probably definitely could have killed one more. We could still, maybe. more uh yeah one hit from that when we kill that yeah okay. Get more XP make it auto reload ammo depleted oh, I'm out of there. Yes. To another vile edifice of corruption falls well done commander Jeez, what's with <clears throat> Restart Titus is for the weak. Exactly, Malone. You know it. 56% of people will agree with you. Alright, what do we got here? Boy, uh, blind grenades. Four interceptor could be good. Mm, I mean, nah, I'm not going to use him. Oh, we nearly got two levels out of it. Okay, this is um, Husbando, the second. Reorden. Husbando. And we want to give him Terminator armor, Acer. But then we also want to give him Iron Arm Biomancy ASAP as well.
This guy's pretty sweet. Alright, how's Bando? Your great destiny awaits you. Um, alright, what? Does Bando need them? Palamid, Hardem, Foros, Rao, Rugen, Rythe, Santor, Solor, Sorak, Solor, Santor, Solor. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, we give him like a plain shoulder. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Nice. and duty. That's pretty good. Redemption. Cloth. The wrath, the big sword between these legs. That's the one you want. The chisel. Uh, I think we're pretty good. Our oh, voice. Soda. Oh, that's pretty good. You just go with that. Nice. He looks more badass now for sure. Um, we've taken out two reapers so far. Oh yeah, who was our new guy like? Our new interceptor. I I kind of just got him just to get rid of him, but Kane. Plus three range for storm. Nah, I don't know that. Wait, wait, a plus one return to Titan. Didn't it cost me two? Didn't it cost me two requisition to buy this guy? How come I'm only getting one requisition for sending him back? So you got. I thought you got the same amount that you spent on him. That sucks. I'm sure I've gotten two from sending him back before. I wonder why it only gave me one this time. He's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure before when I've gotten like a level three or four, or well, maybe level four or five guy or whatever, I've when I've sold him back to Titan, I've gotten two points for him. And this time, I'm pretty sure I bought him for two points, but then I only get one point refund. So I don't know what's going on there. I thought you always got back the amount that you spent on him. Hmm, yeah, I'm making note of that. I have to investigate that further. Damn it, that's, that's sort of sucks because it sort of stuffs up the video that I was trying to make. <clears throat> uh, apologies for the off-topic question. Playing a legendary, very hard co-op as Grimgore. First time playing as Greenskins. When I finally issue my WA, is the WA army going to be equal or stronger than what I have in Grimgore's army? Um, it's not, it doesn't matter what you've got in Grimgore's army, it's irrelevant. 
Um, you need to have more than 14 units, I think it is, or 11 units. There's a certain number you need to have more than. Um, and the Wa army will fill up until it has the equal amount of units to what you've got in the army. So it doesn't matter what the quality of your army is. You can have 20, you can have 19 goblins in Grimgor's army if you want. But the Wa army will, the uh, Wa army will fill up over three or four turns. Um, but it will only fill up to the maximum amount of whatever your army, whatever army the army is, the main army. So basically, you want to just when you're about to do a war, you just want to have as many armies full of goblins as you can have, as you can get, and then each of them will spawn a war army, basically. So if you make a heap of goblin armies, then the war armies will probably be more powerful than they are. But if you've got black orcs and stuff in Grimgore's army, then you won't get, you know, you'll just get crap and stuff. Well, you get some good stuff and some bad stuff. It's, you know, it'll be like, it'll be like some boys some, you know, um, uh, some Arab boys, some, yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if they get, the, the wild armies get more powerful as you go further in the game, or... Actually, I don't know, maybe it is based on your... Hmm, actually, now now that I'm not really an orc, I'm not really a greenskin... I'm not really a greenskin expert, actually, my lord. Now that you mention it, I'm like, what actually does it make... What actually does make the, the wild armies more powerful? I know you can get extra units in your wild armies for the region that you're in. Like if you're like in the mountains near the volcanoes and stuff, then you can get um, you can get like different beasts and stuff that are like wyverns and um, maybe not wyverns, but I don't know stuff. Other beasts you can get in there. I don't know. I might have to Google that one. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Will Smith. I see you say so. Grimgore has a chance for Blackhawks. Yeah, each of the Lords will tell you they've got a chance for a special thing. And then there's also um, special units you can get for being in certain regions when you raise the wire um, for that army. Okay. If I go, like, there, will I go through the Warp Storm? So I could, if I, <laughs> if I go through the warp storm to here, then I could get this, but if I go through the warp storm, I might die. So there's also that. Okay, so we didn't get any Morbus, so this one was already 5, and then it got another mission, and it stayed at 5. So that's interesting. So it's like once they get to 5, they have a chance of getting the Morbus missions, the gate missions. They're flowering missions, I guess they're called or something. Oh, did he just move? Wasn't this guy, like, down here somewhere? I was still to max. Nice. All right, let's do some battles then. Uh, we'll get the Gellerfield. Oh, I can't. Yeah, we'll get this so we can start getting more um, server tools. Then we'll get our Gellerfields. Yeah, then we'll get the Gellerfields. And then we want to go for... Um, then we want to go for more Orgar more Orgariums, I think. Because we're not, we're having a lot of trouble getting to the missions in time. Because if we had more Orgariums around the place, we'd be able to, um, yeah, rock and roll. Oh, right back where it came from. Uh, is that Servitors? No. Servitors. So yeah, that one would be really good to get. I want a Chaplain. Yeah, Chaplain. Um, so if we went straight there, that'd be fine. That one's in the Orgarium area, or we could go there. Okay, so we could go there and then there, and then we would get servitors. All right, let's do that. <clears throat> so 
Soul Hunter trilogy is a good read. Yeah, I agree with that. I really like that. Um, the Soul Hunter trilogy will make you actually like Trader Marines, I reckon. Because they're not all like gross and tentacly and crap like the other Chaos Marines. They're actually um, just badass, bitter, hardened warriors. Palace is just, yeah, just like a ruthless, hardened warrior. It's pretty awesome. These give plus one requisition. Win without mastercrafted armor. Um, I mean, I guess we could. Yeah, it's the Mastercraft of Weapons is the real one, the one that's really annoying. Terminators do look really cool. So that is another factor. Alright. Basically we just don't want to get any kills on Blondin because he's already maxed out, but we will end up having to get a few kills on him, but that's okay. Oh yeah, stratagems. Get infinity, blah, 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 crit. All knights get plus resistance and purify. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go with that. That's fine. Yeah, I forgot to use, I keep forgetting to use the crit. The plus 50% crit is really good. We got 69 current viewers. Sorry, it's cheap. It's cheap, I know. But go do it. <clears throat> oh yeah, if any of you guys are interested, the sexiest amount of viewers, exactly. Oh, husband and wife. Did you notice that your guy's in now? That's the husbando, the apothecary. You live again. I think you already. I think you already had a character earlier this Status. campaign, didn't you? But he died. Ultra Marines currently engaged with a force of word bearers below. Have they detected nice. us? Negative. Do you take me for some half augmented engines here? The Inquisitor meant no insult, Dominus. We will locate and destroy the seeds and leave the rest on the wiser. That's right, Hespando. You've been re you've been reborn. The fate of the chapter's gene seed is in your hands. Actually, you know what we should do if we the next campaign, the range the range thing is like whatever. I don't think that ranged campaign would be that cool. Ranged campaign would be cool, but it wouldn't be like that cool. But you know what would be cool if we make it all about one dude, and we'll get we'll get one of those deathless guys that can um that can like never die and then we'll just keep killing him over and over again until he gets more and more augmetics and then we'll at the same time we'll keep like just um killing other dudes as well so that they all of their or their all of their extra skill points go into that same dude so this same so this one dude will have like all the skill points and he'll be like and he'll be like super like bionicle and stuff as well and just be like have just have one guy that can just solo the whole game basically be sweet. That can be our mission to make the like the chosen one. That can be like the the, the theme of the campaign. Okay, so we're gonna kill all the seed carriers and then we're gonna hold out for three turns after we're done. This one's a good one for um, experience because we'll get lots of uh, lots of kills. 
Okay. Um, it's good to usually good to clear like one direction at a time. Like I said, it's quite a good just general strategy to just go along one wall. Because if you clear along one wall, then at least the stuff can only come from like two sides, you know? It can't come from like everywhere. Yes, Commander. As you command. On my way. I am here to serve. Moving out. Uzaz was put into the wrong legion. He would have made a great world leader. Yes, Commander. I haven't. I think I'm still halfway through the second book of the um, As you will. the like Soul Hunter, or whatever the Night Lords trilogy. Yeah, I read the first ready. one. I can't remember if I finished the second one. Moving swiftly. Oh, we don't have the extra Please movement. Drive. We don't have the extra movement on London. Your no, orders. Aware of that. That is something to be aware of. The problem is that you kind of, unless you're going to make your like ultimate guy an interceptor, you My kind of want yours. like your ultimate guy to be one of the um, Aye, advanced classes. Um, well, I suppose your ultimate guy could be your apothecary. You kind of just have to go with whoever gets the trait, though, basically. Because, yeah, you can't really control who's going to get the deathless trait. Is the Night Lord's Omnibus the Soul Hunter trilogy you guys talk about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not called the Soul Hunter trilogy, I don't think. I think Soul Hunter's just one of the books. Solar. This guy got an arrow in him? No. I'll oh, just figure out how close we can get here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Alright, so we can get up to there. I mean, we can get up to here without setting them off. The Emperor lights our path. The Eagle is a My blade is ever Jesus. us. Praise the Emperor. I am his chosen shield. I had no idea that the Emperor's children stole Horus's body and cloned him. Yeah, I, I feel like I remember that. I feel like somebody told me about that. Uh, well, I mean, I feel like I read that somewhere or something, yeah. Your orders. That's the librarian who's got the... No, that's... Oh. Which one's the librarian? This guy? Okay. So his armor kind of looks more librarian -y. Unleash me! As you will. Standing ready. At once. Your command. What is your will? Silver Knights! the beasts all right well um oh I should have been casting should have been casting the buffs I just realized
Okay. Set up some stuns for Stumble to. Actually. I am here to serve. So these are, this guy's disrupted, so that means we can melee him without fear. My blade condition. is ever ready. For the Emperor. The enemy weakens. Crap. the Emperor. Alright, good stuff. Unleash me. What is your will? Yeah, we need to... speed I also go off speed so that's like it's meant to be only 15% chance but it seems like it's like a hundred percent chance like he always gets it I know what's going on with that but yes sir justice I probably should make more of an effort to collect more seeds but I must sanctify my rounds. Your command. As ordered. Emperor's Children, 50 Shades of Grey Meat Store. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I can dig it. I can dig it. I am here to serve. That's pretty crazy. Oh, shit. It didn't get through his shields, luckily, but still. Oh, me standing ready I 
Unleash me! Moving now! No devil shall elude my gaze! What is your will? Just to be able to set that off. Um, Sola, my blade is yours. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. Affirmative. The Emperor lights our path. We have purified this place. Back on my path. Now, he's got warp speed. Yeah. What is your will? Iron arm, biomancy to him. Pure among impurity. And giving warp speed. Like the like the um Pupgary is pretty cool, isn't it? My wrath is restored, brother. My blade is ever ready. Moving swiftly. What is your will? I wonder if that'll set him up. Ah. Nice. You get right up your hand behind here. Your orders? That's really cool. Check it out, this is a huge leap. That's pretty cool. Unleash me. It will be done. How cool is that? They look really right when they were My leap. blade is ever ready. game as the end game or just the end of the game? Uh, both Zachary, yeah. So there's definitely a late game, which is what we're in now. Um, and there's also the end of the game, which is what we're approaching. We are the swords of justice! Okay. This guy doesn't have any buffs yet. Your command. So let's... Uh... Crap. <laughs> Alright. We'll just My carry on with no yours. buffs. It's fine. Can't quite make it. Um, that's okay. We'll go to like actually. Um, let's just put in again. Let's give everyone crit, because I usually just forget to use it. Mm. What is your will? Fifty percent crit. Mm. 
Your orders? The Emperor lights our path. Four action points to do, but we got four action points back from it, so that's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> My blade is ever ready. Said ammunition depleted. Unleash me. On the hunt. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have all this stuff going out pretty quick. That's good. Okay, we can get a crit on this guy, plus 85% crit. We didn't get the... Oh, we didn't get the crit. Arlis. Yes, Commander. We can get a crit again. We got 85% like, crit. What the fuck? There we go. I've claimed a seed. Where's the next seed carrier? I got one there and one there. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go for this one. Well, that one's gonna move that direction. So I guess we're gonna go up there. He's still got six willpower. I am here He's to serve. Four. So maybe we. Your command. Standing ready. Ever ready, Aldo. And stationary. Oh, he's moving this way. Should we should go for this? Uh, hmm. So one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so you can move up to here. Taking position. And you still got plenty of movement to set them off. Your orders. 
Fighters. Threat eliminated. As. Okay, so he's got strength of. Oh, he's got warp speed, but he doesn't have iron arm or whatever it's called. Sola! Praise the Emperor. Your orders? I must refocus, Commander. I was hoping he was going to get it on himself, but it didn't, didn't happen. Unleash me! As you will. Heretics will suffer the ultimate punishment! Iron Warriors are pretty cool. I like Iron Warriors because I feel like they're less like less like tentacly and more like warriors, you know? Well, I guess most Chaos Warriors are not that mutated, like I feel like in the earlier lore they were like more mutated, now they're they tend to be just have like minor little mutations that aren't too bad. It's only really like Death Guard that have like really bad crazy mutations most of the time. I need five willpower. Eyes up. Alright, I guess we'll be using this bad boy. Oh, no one got into melee range with this guy. What is your will? Command. Your orders? My blade is yours. 65% crit's pretty good. Crap. That guy's uh, dangerously close to these, these guys now. Alright, that didn't work out at well at all. The Emperor lights our path. I like the world bringers for their faith driven goals, so we'll well bring on Omnibus. Omnibus was awesome slot. Do you think? I feel like I don't know. I feel like the word bring is Primark is a bit of a I don't know, a bit of a whiny bitch though, and like my blade not is as badass as some of those. You know? Unleash me! We need the librarian to get at least one more um, willpower, so he can teleport. We'll give the big ah, boy. We'll give the big boy to. Yeah, get a big one in the kneel and kill him initially. So he gets destabilized, it's going to be so away. Should not be back away from the other Okay, we did take some damage on one of but that's okay. None may stay our wrath.
Unleash me. Praise the Emperor. I must rearm. Um. Shit. All right. Your orders? Yes, Commander. I will shoot. Shoot him to get him stunned. And that way the medic can attack him without getting wrecked. Sola! As you will. Ultramarine's getting no love from you guys. Yeah, Ultramarine's have never really been one of my favorites. They, I feel like I like a bit of darkness, you know, a little bit of inner turmoil and that kind of stuff. Like, I read the Ultramarine's Omnibus, and but it was I feel like I was more interested in, like, the renegade space marines that were, like, abandoned and still trying to keep, you know, keep fighting and stuff, and, you know, that they eventually got to have their, like, glorious death against the Iron Warriors, and that was pretty cool. And, um, but yeah, like, was it Utri, Utriel Ventress, or whatever his name is, the main guy? Like, I don't know, I didn't really, I don't know, he was cool and everything, but he's not one of the most memorable characters for me. I gotta stop doing that. Did I get the XP for that? Oh man, I don't think I got the XP because I think he like blew up after. And there's, there's a lot of the XP sort of buggy in this game. I wonder if we can get close enough. I might just count the squares just to make sure. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Fifteen's there. So yeah, so we can melee this guy, no problem. It will be done. Yeah. It is Another better. foul seed claimed. Seed. I am here to serve. Oh, I should have shielded up on that. Unleash me. Think of that. Standing ready. Or less. Who? Out of me. Moving swiftly. Raven guard of the sneaky ones? Yeah, sure. Dark Angels don't want anyone to know about the traitors. Yeah, no, the Dark Angels are all... The Dark Angels were my first, like, favorite what chapter. But then they're too, like, ashamed and embarrassed, you know? Like, I feel like it's eliminated. not very... Like, it's almost unmarine worthy to be so... Like, self-conscious and stuff, you know? Like, I don't know. I feel like the proper marines should always be... I don't know, aggressive, I guess, or... Yeah, I don't know. My blade is yours. Dark Angels are basically Lancelot after he slept with, slept with Guinevere. Yeah, that, yeah, that's a good... That's a really... I've never heard that... Um, never heard that comparison before. Yeah, that's a really good way of saying it, right? Yeah. Your command. Yeah, I know what you mean. The Raven Guard are like hit and they do like hit and run and like um What is your will? Yeah, the Raven Guard are all like hit and run and stuff. 
Is is everybody Max Shielded? I think everyone's pretty much Max Shielded. Your command. The Emperor lights our path. Yeah, it should be pretty should be pretty fine. Oh, of course, big spawn. Brothers, I have discovered the enemy. Yes, you have. Now, yeah, no, I think we can just get in there and kill these guys. It's fine. You can find the Greek tragedy is in every loyal legion except for the Ultramarines. They're the baseline. What's the ooh, what's the Greek tragedy for the um? What's the Greek tragedy for the, the Iron Hand, the um, Imperial Fists? The Blood Angels one's pretty like you know they're Primarch getting murdered by Horus and them being like eternally grief stricken and broken by it and everything. That's pretty pretty cool, but. Um, The breaking of the legion. Oh uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, do you reckon that, that was pretty traumatic for them? Like, what do you mean when they got split up in like, and the going giving up basically? Oh, I haven't read the Siege of Terror. Maybe I should read the Siege of Terror. Are you talking about the Siege of Terror? Does this guy doesn't have any like reactionary things that happen when you hit him in melee or anything, is it? After the siege, ah, okay, yeah, so I've missed out on that bit of lore. The plague gods miss you verge on your location. Hold your ground until the Dominus can teleport you from the surface. I've read the Beast Arises, but I can't really remember it very well now. So yeah, you're oh well maybe you shouldn't spoil it for other people. Started campaign for Chaos Gate and stumbled upon the stream. Oh well, yeah, welcome, welcome, Crunk. Um, sorry, got distracted there for a second. Um, standing ready. To the yellow skull thingy, it's counted as a stun, and the next attack can always execute. Yeah, once they've got no stun threshold left, the next attack will execute. Yeah. Next melee attack will execute. Yes, Commander. I am here to serve.
My blade is ever ready. You have been judged! Your orders? My blade is ever ready, as you have a heart. And some resistance, eh? me. Uh, actually, we can just, it's, the turn's not going to end after this turn, so we can just keep going. You have been judged. That's pretty right. Uh, so it's, the guy's coming in from everywhere. Um, Guess we'll head over this direction. Praise the Emperor. Moving swiftly. And we'll set up Overwatch there. shall claim victory with blood! <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh wow. Very good. Hobbled. Vaughn. A lot of enemies around the place. Your orders. Your orders? My blade is ever ready. What is your will? Blessed are our arms, Sola. I am him. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> That's uh, keep forgetting about that. If you got, yeah, I got to change this. I got to maybe take. I am here to serve. 
can maybe take that stun off him, but... It's, um, stuff that's supporting fire has stuffed me up a few times. So, to be unworthy! my fury okay. so far so good Dwarves are my favorite, but they're definitely left behind in Wyoming 2 by all the other factions getting way better DLC in FLC. Oh, you think so? I don't know. I feel like Dwarves are still pretty good. Um, yeah, I think Dwarves are pretty good. Like, if you play Belagar, like, it's pretty powerful. Well, all of them are pretty powerful, actually. I'm tossing up whether to play Dwarves or, um, tossing up whether to play Dwarves or Marcus Wolfheart next. Um, yeah, if anyone's interested, I, um, I did a community poll for what the next next uh, Warhammer 2 campaign is that we're going to be playing. Um, on, like on the stream, I mean. Um, so yeah, if um, you guys are interested in that, this is a link to my community page. Um, we can go over there and vote. Um, but yeah, currently Marcus Wolfheart, Hero Quest plus Empire Migration is in first place and Dwarfs is in second place. So yeah, I haven't really figured out a specific campaign to do with dwarves, but just something with dwarves. But yeah, I'm really um yeah, I'm really hanging out to play some Empire and really hanging out to play some dwarves. But um whichever one I choose, I'll probably play the other one next the next, you know. I'll, yeah, I'll probably play one of those two next regardless, I'd say, because those two are the two most popular. Your command. My blade is yours. Curse it. Cannot focus. Your orders? What is your will? Seek and destroy, brother. You're talking too? Yeah, for sure. I just played the last Warhammer 2 big last big Warhammer 2 campaign I played was Dark Elves, so probably won't play Dark Elves this time. Blessed ammunition depleted. Praise the Emperor. Unleash me. Unleash me. We strive. The Baron's getting, um, in this, uh, Apothecary is getting so much experience. It's good. Just cleaning up the whole, the whole map. Just just killing everything. So, not bad. Not bad. The enemy weakens. Crap. 
My focus fails me. Yes, Commander. Unleash me! Crap, I probably might have left him out a little bit exposed there. Come to think of it. Yes, Commander. Off. My blade is ever ready. At once. Crap. Yeah, we we're going to take some damage. For sure. We might get to use our, um, we might get to use our, um, our oh, Gary to do some healing. Good. For Titan! Sanctify my rounds. Your orders? Eighty five percent crit, but oh, I should be able to get it. Who slay the darkness? My blade is ever ready. Got eighty five percent chance of crit, so there's a pretty good chance you gotta kill it. Yeah, there's a pretty good chance of kill it. Take the risk. Oh, I forgot about the parry. <laughs> He's gonna take some hits. Whoosh. clean up here soon. Um, I 
I am here to serve. Sola. Vaughn. Praise the Emperor. I am his will. Your command. 50% chance to get parried. Power. No time. No match for the Emperor's Chosen. His wounds will heal. Nice. My wrath is restored, brother. Your orders? Your orders. Standing ready. Unleash me. My blade is yours. Your command. Lords. Hey, we'll spell. Yeah, good job welcoming the new welcoming the new people to chat the way. It's um I think it really is uh helps it helps the it helps the uh the stream, you know, the chat to have a good friendly uh friendly vibe, so yeah, good work. Aldo. Moving swiftly. Mmm, probably should just shield up, shouldn't I? Next time around, we'll be okay. Oh, actually, yeah, we can put some more action points on him. Kill him in one shot. Your orders? This guy. Yes, come on. So. Might be able to kill some, get some kills next turn. With three action points. Uh... What is your will? Said ammunition depleted. Standing ready. The Emperor lights our path. Does Overwatch stop their movement? Like, this guy's got three action points, right? So he'll probably do a buff on himself, he'll move forward three, and then he'll move and attack. But if I if I Overwatch him, will his movement, instead of getting three squares of movement, he'll only get, like, one, and then he'll, like, immediately get Overwatch. Barbarous. Blocking people with your body seems to work pretty well, too, in this game. Blessed are our arms! Recovered. Beginning teleportation. Yeah, it seemed like it did did sort of stop him. Just the damage. Oh, you, oh, you reckon it didn't stop him? He only moved like three squares or something, didn't he? And he could have moved six.
You're probably right. I'm not trying to help the stream, I'm trying to sed what was that? I'm not trying to help the stream, I'm trying to seduce them into the thrall of the dark gods. Nice. I was thinking, um I was thinking maybe we need another moderator. Like we need a like a, a Chaos Gate moderator. Not that you can't be a moderator in all things, but but yeah, I was thinking Grimaldus and Warsmith could be could could be good. Maybe we should have a vote to see who should be the, the first the first Chaos Gate moderator, if you want to be a moderator, that is. You don't actually have to do anything, really. You just get a cool, uh, a cool blue name. But yeah, I was thinking Grimaldus is good because he's my morale officer because he keeps making, um, he makes keeps making cool 40k quotes, and um, Warsmith quite, turns up for lots of streams, so that's pretty good, and he's fr and he's friendly to uh, the new people, even if he is trying to seduce them to chaos. That's still, um, you know, that's still a good thing. I'm sure there's lots of people that are, there's lots of people that would be worthy, worthy mods, but, um, um, what about you, Grimaldus? Would you like to be a moderator as well? Would you accept the sacred duty? Will Smith would definitely vote for Grimaldus. Well, that's not very, that doesn't encourage me then. If you don't even have the confidence in yourself, then I don't know, maybe I shouldn't... Maybe, you, maybe you're not ready for this responsibility. I shall be oathed to this moment. <laughs> Alright, let's do... we'll do a vote. Alright, we'll, we'll do a vote. Um, I'm sure... It's, yeah, apologies, I'm sure I'm overlooking someone else who's also... other people who are also just as worthy. Um, and I know there's other people that have been around for longer and stuff, you know, but... Um, I vote for it. No, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do an actual vote. We'll see who who is the most popular. Who should be who should be the first Chaos Gate moderator? Warsmith or Grimaldus? Okay, so if everyone in chat right now, or no, it doesn't have to be everybody. If like half the people in chat right now would like to cast your vote for either Warsmith or Grimaldus, I should have put a, I should have put a, I don't care option up there as well. Damn it. Oh, I'm sure there's a lot of people that don't care or they think they're both equally worthy or whatever. If you think they're both equally worthy, then just don't vote. Um, but if you, if you're, uh, yeah, put down your, uh, your vote for either Warsmith or Grimaldus. And, try, and don't just vote for Grimaldus if you like the Imperium and vote for Warsmith if you like Chaos. Well, actually, yeah, that's fine. You can do that if you want. All right. We'll let, we'll get, we'll let the voting go on for a minute or two until we get a, get a few more votes. And then we'll announce who is the, the glorious moderator of Chaos Gate. Head Chaos Gate moderator. Another crit damage hammer. Uh, knockback. Knockback and immobilized. That's actually kind of cool. So you can knock them, you knock them back, and then they get immobilized. Imagine putting that on a paladin and having have, having give him like the melee, um, give him like the melee knockback, a melee um, melee Overwatch. So every time somebody comes close to him, he just like ah. Oh, now to be better on actually now to be better on a glaive. It's still it's cool, but you know whatever. Plus two willpower, plus two, plus four willpower. Immunity to drained, he will not lose any, lose willpower for enemy. That's pretty cool. Healer skull, target blast, enraged. Okay. Conflict enraged and the servo skull's got 15 HP. It's kind of cool. So it's just like you have like an extra dude cruising around. So you can move the skull where you want it to go. That's pretty cool. I mean, it'd be good to get a level three one, but how many votes have we got so far? Sixteen votes. How many people have we got in the chat? We got fifty-four people in chat. All right, I feel like we need to get at least twenty votes for it to be a good, a good, even cross-section of the community. So we need four more people to vote. 
Who purged more heretics is the question. Well, I don't know. I reckon the I reckon the warsmith. If the war if the warsmith is um, ah, what's the name of the warsmith in um, Storm of Iron? Um, like, well, there's a few warsmiths in Forge of Iron and Storm of Iron, isn't there? Like, there's the main Honsu. Does Honsu become Honsu's not a warsmith to start off with, but he becomes a warsmith. Is that right? Anyway, my point is that Bulk, is he the, the kind of the guy who Tonsu doesn't trust and he ends up fighting, fucking him over and stuff? My point is that I'm sure that the Warsmith, or all of any of the Warsmiths, I'm sure all of them would have purged plenty of heretics. They would have been killing their rivals, smashing down, you know, upstarts trying to take their power, killing those above them to take their power, you know. So, I, you know, potentially the Warsmith could have actually purged more heretics than Grimaldus. Iron without. So it's not as it's not as cut and dried. Alright, we've got 23 votes. Grimaldus has Grimaldus has won the vote and will be the first the first Chaoscape moderator. And the Warsmith will be the second Chaos Gate moderator. There we go. Um, thanks, guys. Um, both of you have been really, uh, you know, just... I know it's you just, you just recently I've noticed you've both been really cool um, additions to the community. And, and uh, yeah, thanks. And, uh, yeah, and I know there's lots of other people that are also great additions to the community too, but, you know, can't make everyone moderator. We can make everyone moderators, but then it just looks weird. <laughs> Um, yeah, you don't have to do anything or anything. Although, actually, if you, um, if, uh, now you can ban all the people, yeah. You can't ban all, well, you can ban, you can ban a couple of people, but then you'll probably get banned. <laughs> so, you know, you can't ban all the people unless you're really fast. <laughs> before I, before I unmoderate you. Ban all the heretics. Yeah, just ban the heretics. Um, but yeah, no, you don't, you don't need to do anything. It's just, uh. But uh, but yeah, if those when those like sex bots come on, if you could try to find them out, that'd be good. But yeah, I noticed that a lot of the Warhammer mods don't really come around that much during the um, Chaos Gate streams. So sometimes there's not really many moderators on. So I thought we'll get a couple of Chaos Gate guys that like Chaos Gate, so that way we'll have more we'll have more coverage, more moderator coverage. <clears throat> All right. Well, we can blow up all these ships pretty much no problem, can't we? All right. We'll try and we'll try and get here as fast as we can, so we can get those servers. Ban all the Empress children. Yeah, I never liked that. Um. Ah, oh, no worries, really, Gardas. Thanks for uh, thanks for all your cool forty uh, k quotes. You, uh, you cheer me up. Probably, actually, yeah, probably more important than actually, more important to the stream than banning the, the shit people is actually <laughs> is actually cheering me up because if I get all the sads and shit, then I won't be very good at streaming. Whereas if I'm all happy, then I'm really up. streaming. There is some foulness at work below. We must reach the surface at once. Open fire. We've got level four guns. We fear nothing. Ranging. All weapon systems and batteries active. Shit! <laughs> God damn it! I should have I should have chosen a different one. I thought it was just like once your guns are done, you just up no brainer. You can just kill everyone with your guns. But no, um, we need a wiki moderator that explains the law all the time. <laughs> I tried to have a lawmaster badge on the Discord, but not very not very much. Oh, we were voting for mods, lol. What did you think we were voting for, SJ? Well, we were, we were voting to see who would be the first moderator, the first Chaos Gate moderator. And that was Grimaldus. He has, he's got that honor. He's... You better not behind me. Yeah. So you gotta watch out now. Grimaldus is first sword. And Warsmith is the second sword. Um, <clears throat> did, 
What? Did... What? So, I just missed out on the mission because of that. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Hull integrity is busted again. That wasn't the, that was not the right answer. No, no. This is a democracy, not a dictatorship. It's a, yeah, it's a, an extremely corrupt democracy. <laughs> I'm like the chancellor. I'm like the chancellor from the Republic before the, um, before the, um, you know, while um, Palpatine was still the chancellor. <laughs> um, additional projects unlocked. No what? I think I want the Gelafi uh, twelve servers ship. Well, mm. if we wait two days, we could get that. It's 27 days, though. So it's always the same amount of time, regardless of how busted your ship is. So we may as well let it get right down to one again, or down to two. Yeah, I'd like to get a prognosticator. You already killed the five reapers? No, I've only killed um, two. I'm about to kill the third one. Well, hopefully. Soda. Oh, we got four. We went up two levels that time. That's pretty good. Um, so we can purify. We want to get down into this crit area, I think. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Okay, so this this one, yeah, this one allows you to spend his hit points instead of willpower when his willpower gets to zero. So you can basically just always cast more stuff. All right, he's got heaps of hit points. It's good. Got melee crit, which is good. All right, us Bando is looking pretty badass now. Um, Wood is on a mission. Blondin's still our carry for this. Should we take? Hmm. Actually, that's an interesting one. I don't know if we should take the librarian. Um. I thought you thought we were voting for the in-game names. No, no, the in-game names are just um, people who are super chat, super chatted. Uh, I'll get rid of Husbando now. 
So the next the next um, night that we'll get will be named after Pat David. Um, yeah, so just people who do super chats, or if if a member, if one of the members is like celebrating their anniversary, or if they're a new member, then yeah, I just name my character after them to to honor them. How do you have a rank twenty purifier? Oh, you pay. You have to pay like twenty bucks to get him. Noxious. He's like an extra character that you can get. Um, I don't know if he's like that awesome, but yeah. Um, all right. <clears throat> What do you think, guys? Do we take the do we take the new um, apothecary into the final battle against this guy? I think we can. I think we can. Torn. Plus two armor, plus three armor. Extra passive equipment slot. Plus three movement speed. Plus three movement speed would normally be the good one. But... Well, the extra passive slot we can't actually get at this time because we don't have enough. Enough stuff. The one with plus passive equipment slot, yeah. So your band needs a warsmith. <laughs> nice one, warsmith. All right, we'll put you on the list. We might not, we might not be able to get you in, but. Because we can't, um, is Pat David's next, but you'll be next after Pat David. So, um, if we get a, if we get a, if we get two new characters, then you can be the next one. Uh, thanks for the super chat, man. Very generous of you. Not necessary at all, but very much appreciated. So this one, if we have this one, so this one does it does five damage and plus seven crit damage. Whereas this, and it's got thirty five percent crit. Whereas this one's got four damage and plus seven crit damage, sixty percent crit. Range seventeen. This one's range eight. <laughs> okay, well maybe we'll go for the range seventeen one since that can shoot like across the whole battlefield. Good. Um, and who else we got? Alda. Um. Cool. All right, I think that is pretty good.
You are quite sure that thing uh -huh. is what we seek? Cruciatus the generous, yes. I cannot guess how the Reaper claimed such a body, but the stench of its prime seed is unmistakable. Affirmation. These blasphemies of the revered machine are well known. Even our sanctified weapons will struggle to pierce the armor of a Chaos Knight. Abomination. We must destroy this insult to the Omnissiah. Commander, our mission is clear. We will crush the heretic knight and wrest the prime seed from its remains. Mm. Requisition, corruption, subdue Cruciatus. Do we, do we know anything about him? No. I wonder if we had a prognosticar here, if it would like give us the lowdown about how to defeat him and stuff. So maybe that's like a thing that why prognosticars are actually really powerful, because if we did have one here, we'd be able to see, you know, we'd be able to see what we're up against. I feel like he looked, like in the picture, it looked like he was a bit mechanical. Um, so... Valkaus Knight of Impressive Power. His shielding would be substantial, even our Storm Bolters will have it. He's a Chaos Knight. So he's uh, so he's not a Dreadnought, he's like a warrior. Hmm. Okay. Since the knockback is five damage, we're probably not going to be able to knock him back anyway, so we don't need that. We don't want the knockback one. Um, this one, this one does six base damage, and it's got an extra five percent crit. Ah, I wish I had the six seeds now. Now I'm like, damn it! I should have put more. I should have found more seeds. He's got a bit more crit damage. Um, 20% crit. Yeah, it's pretty weak. If we get the extra 10% on there, it would be nicer. But with the plus 50%, that's going to be 70, so that's not too bad. So let's get the hammer. Six, six and plus one crit damage. Yeah, I was going to take this one versus mechanical targets, but I don't know if... I don't think it is mechanical. So, yeah, I guess we'll just keep this. Dark Tide's coming out, which is a PvP shooter where you go in as well. You play as Imperial Guard, not Space Marines. But yeah, Dark Tide's coming out. It's a PvP team-based shooter where you got to protect your buddies, um, you know, and um, mow down hordes of enemies. Oh, he is—he is a Dreadnought. Shit. God damn it. Should have gone the mechanical. I thought he was like a. I thought it would. Have, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, um, Dark Tide's coming out and. Um, there's uh yeah there's imperial guards guys and that then there probably will be kriegsmen there may be kriegsmen later on or whatever because like yeah they'll probably yeah i reckon they'll be all different like i don't know there might be different versions of them actually it'll be interesting to see how they do it like would there be different versions of the characters where they come from different uh imperial guard regiments like one's a Krieg grenadier one's uh you know but it's the same it's sort of weird that it's the same guy but different versions of them um they come from different planets or like doesn't really make sense um uh, but yeah i was gonna say the other thing is space marine 2 is coming out and space marine 1 had a really i never tried it out actually i wish i had i'm kicking myself 
Um, apparently had a really good player versus environment PvE thing where you could go in as brother space marines you know going a squad of like four with your buddies or whatever and then just like mow down dudes so yeah so if you're into pvp with 40k pvp pve shooters then yeah dark tide is gonna i'm sure dark everyone knows dark side dark side dark tide is gonna be amazing um that's probably gonna be the like the team shooter you know for a while when that comes out um but yeah also the um yeah space marine 2 if that has the pve version again i'll be i think i'll be really interested in that I'll be interested in getting into it for PvP as well, maybe, because the PvP was fun in, in Space Marine 1. Fuck! I wish I... Knights of the Titan! I, Cruciatus, am known to my cohort as the Generous. For it is through my will that the healing gift of pain should be shared in the grandfather's name. <laughs> it is a noble goal, is it not? It's big. Brothers, do not I wish I had brought the hammer that had plus four versus um, mechanical. Our duty is not to bandy in words. Will you not parlay? Introduce yourself. I think we should parlay. Night classification. Desecrator. Its firepower is beyond. Beyond our capabilities, Commander, I recommend we reconsider our approach and... Retreat? <laughs> I've got your type knew no fear. An empty platitude, it would seem. Warp surge. Interferences. <laughs> Retreat would be dishonorable. Besides, I have long awaited the day when I might truly be challenged. Come at me, Knights of the Titan. I promise your end will not be swift. Okay. It's got 83 hit points. I don't think we can do 83 hit points in one turn. Oh, he's out of range of us as well. We can't see him. I imagine he's going to have a lot of armor. I wish I'd have chosen a different weapon. They've got no armor break, but they can crit. Use the cranes to stun him? Okay. Well, if we get near any cranes, there's not really any nearby. You have to get past the armor? Yeah. I sort of figured. Unleash me! I'm a 45. Oh shit. T 
turn on the crit. Yeah, I was thinking about turning on the crit. Um, has it got any autos? Lead, craze, dominate, immobilize. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, auto, infinite amount to turn. When hit, Cruciatus will come in raised and focus on destroying his attack on the next turn. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. So if we... Put the last hit... If we make the last hit um, somebody with lots of armor, that could be the deal. Hmm, okay. Yeah, we need some armor break. Alright, so... Your orders. He's got 95 crit. My blade is ever red. 70 crit. What is your will? 50 crit. What is your will? 85 crit. You got four armor. Six armor break two. Commander. Here's seven armor. I am here to serve. You have eight armor. My blade is yours. Five armor. Um, right, let's see. Praise the Emperor. What happens here? I've got seventy percent crit, so. Shot, he moves to grab the shooter. Oh, what? I didn't even notice that. Who's that? Hmm. You know, it doesn't say anything about it in there. Alright, well, whatever. We'll just not do that then, I guess. Hobbled minus two move speed. Oh, I can give him minus two move speed. That's interesting. I am unsure of the this Shit. Is he gonna do that like every time we attack him? Holy shit. Oh, that doesn't do any damage to us. Oh no, it did do damage to us. Hmm. Angry night, yeah. Yes, Commander. Oh, he can only do that once per turn. Sucker. 
The fuck now, bro? The Emperor lights our path. How much crit vulnerability has this guy got now? Blew off both of his leg shields. Oh yeah, warp speed is. Yeah, good call. Good call. Thanks, man. Unleash me. This was <laughs> Thank you, thanks, sir. Uh, give me a lot more damage. Pure among impure. Unleash me. I think he's only still only got 70% crit. Give him some more hobbled. Oh, we've got more things exposed now. Break five. Oh, yeah, he's getting fucked up now. He took his Darth Vader mask. It's, it's, like, it's like Darth Vader with his mask on. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You're going down, bro. You're going to one turn 100 to 0 you. You're just. You're just like, you're just more experience points for the Apothecary. Uh, can we... Unleash me. Now how many, um... How many experience points will Husbando get from this? <laughs> That's the question. 70, I reckon 75. The veil is lifting. It is done. Yeah. Operational control nice. restored. This is an impressive um, victory. Thanks, Ben the Fields, for the way. <laughs> <will echo> <laughs> you had of those buff brothers who lot. bested a chaos knight single handed. Single handed, Ektar. No matter. Such festivities can wait. We must extract the prime seed and continue the hunt. Well, Neeland basically took him down single handed. He did, he did use some buffs, though. When they said Chaos Knight, I thought they meant like, I mean, I was, I was, I had, I had that thought. Maybe they mean a knight, like a, like a, um, you know, maybe they mean a, mean a, actual knight, um, class, you know, but um, like what it was. But then, but then I thought, oh, maybe he means like Chaos Knight is in because they call the Grey Knights knights, you know. And, yeah. Anyway, it all worked out in the end. What's this bad boy? So we gave six base damage, plus one on four strike, auto parry once per turn, two auto parries per turn, 25% crit. Mm. No.
Uh, I don't think I really want any of this stuff. Oh, what about this? Immune to hobbled, plus two hit points. No, no, yeah, don't, might need it for something. Easiest boss ever? I don't know, it wasn't, it was like, a bit scary, but not as scary as that one that was blowing up the platforms. Oh, uh, maybe I only, maybe it only cost me one point to buy that other guy, and I just didn't realise. <clears throat> no, he didn't level up. It's okay, though. Here we go, though. Now, if I could just get a chaplain and power level up my chaplain, then I'd be happy. Oh, let's go. What's going on with this Inquisitor now? She's going crazy. The Reaper is dust. And I'll see you all soon. Have a good one, man. To a halt. Our crusade goes well. What say you, Inquisitor? Yes, a fine victory. Yes. I will await your next request to attune the Codex. Are you not well? I'm fine, yes. Simply weary from the last ritual. If I am needed, I will be in the Libris. The next part will be world. interesting. Uh, I think that's a Chinese curse. May you live in interesting times. Oh shit, what did I, did I miss something? Inconclusive. Emotions are inscrutable. Her recent biodiagnostics have all passed. She listens to the warp's whispers day and night. Such communion takes a toll on the mortal mind. We will need to keep a close eye on her. Yeah, she's falling to heresy. Somebody's going to have to cease your heresy on her, I think, at some point. All right. We still haven't got any. So we'll wait here. Shit. Commander, the influence of this plague cult is far greater than we feared. My spies tell me a major gathering will take place to preach this heresy in public. Unacceptable on a Grey Knight strike ship. Commander, I will depart with a squad of our finest and tend to this immediately. That may deal with the symptom, but not the cause, Ektar. Give me leave to infiltrate their ranks. I will mind wipe their leaders and flush out the rest of the cult myself. Denial. Why would she mind wipe the leaders? heresy cannot be tolerated on the edict. Recommend voiding the gathering into space. Associated risks tolerable. I kind of feel like we should purge all. I feel. I kind of feel like we should purge all of the servitors and crew. The operations will be severely impaired. But I mean, like, if, like, if this was my ship and there was a widespread chaos cult on plan, on on, on the ship. I would vent all of the servitors and crew. That would be what I would do. Like, personal, the Emperor wills it. I know. Like, I mean, I know that, I know that sounds inhumane, but like, chaos is bad, man. Chaos is really bad. You don't want, you don't want chaos in your ship. You don't want chaos. Like, they're all, they're basically already dead, you know, like, like, they're all, they're all gonna die. There can, there can be no quarter in dealing with the tainted. Indeed, like, even the ones that are innocent, you know, they're sooner or later they're going to fall to chaos. Engaging termination protocol. 60 days construction suspended. Okay. At least it's done. We've killed every living creature on the, on the, uh, edict. Except for the one, except for the one creature that we know is probably actually corrupted by chaos, which is Vikia. Well, it's a somber day. It's a somber day. 
but it had to be done. Okay. Oh, I haven't researched anything, have I? We need to get another one of these bad boys going. Oh shit, I don't have enough seeds. That's not good. Um... Right, let's start researching that for 23 days. And then, wait, what sort of seeds do we need? We need um, blue seeds and purple seeds. Okay, blue seeds and purple seeds. What do we got? So this one's pretty close by. And we got blue seeds, we got purple seeds. Alright, that's good. Um, this one's pretty close by to that one. We got purple seeds there. Got lots of purple seeds there. Alright, well, I think we need to go over here because. Yeah, if we go to this one first. Is that inside the warp? No. Uh, actually, yeah. Mm. Yeah, all right, we'll go to this one first. And then we'll try and make it back to that one. I think it should be okay. Hopefully this warp storm isn't gonna screw us up. Nope, we got through, all right. A small price to shield the rest from the dark. Yeah, I know. I wish I'd have done it first time now. Um, oh shit. What? Jesus. Holy crap. Battle stations. Blasted out of the sky. Run out the guns. Shit. We're, getting, we're taking heavy fire. What's happening? Destroy that ship, Renate! Oh! That's bad. <laughs> That's really bad. We've got a whole other ship jammed through our ship. Shit. That's not good. Incoming teleportation! Signal fires! Alright, suit up, men. The Grey Knights might need our help. It's time for the Inquisitorial Stormtroopers to get in on the act as well. They're boarding the ship. Somehow, Sergeant Mercer escaped being purged with the rest of the ship. Sergeant, Sergeant Mercer was above, above suspicion, obviously. Whoa, who the hell is that? Some sort of Chaos Demon Prince. Time to purge. We just started a baby space hulk, yeah, for sure. Ah, so this is what you've been up to, eh, Carter? <laughs> Who? What? Oh, you should know better than to trifle with such vile sorcery. No! Ektar, the Libris has been breached. I require immediate support. Ah, yes. Call your silver slaves. I'll use them to fertilize your corpse. Commander, where are my reinforcements? Internal teleportation is disrupted. You will need to hold off the intruders while support arrives on foot. <laughs> yes, Carver. Let us dance. Why is he calling her Kartha? Oh, Kartha's her first name. We never knew her first name. She just introduced herself as Vakia. How does... Why does this guy know her first name? I call her Karen. <laughs> yeah, she's like an Inquisitor Karen.
Hmm. There you go. Yeah, this is pretty serious business. Um. All right. Oh, target a demon at range one to destroy them. Banish 100. <laughs> Can she just like run up and banish this dude and just delete him? <laughs> That'd be sick. He's a demon, right? Demonic. Yeah, just use the banish. I feel like it's not going to work though. Immunity to dominated panic plague, don't work, banish. Oh, immunity to banish. Okay, luckily we checked that. Yeah, lame. He's like totally a demon. Yeah, he's immune to banish. Um. What do we got here? Okay, these guys are pretty clumpy. So we should better stay away from them. Movement four. I think they got three action points. It doesn't actually show you what how many action points they've got here, does it? Yeah, I think we can kind of ignore them for a few turns. Um, reinforcements will arrive next turn. Where are our reinforcements going to come on from? Are they going to come on from like every direction or? No armor. They spawn in the cardinal directions one at a time up to five. Oh, okay, so oh, crap. We need more bolters, brothers. Indeed, we do. Alright, well, we may as well shoot him a couple of times, I guess. Can we teleport? Yeah, we can teleport right up to here. He can move 14, so he can get pretty close to us. Let's see. The reflections only last for one turn, or do they last for ages? For the Emperor. Now, I just realized that I probably shouldn't have done that because if this one's the real one, then we're in trouble. Um, there was some, there was a way of telling which one was which, I think. So the re that's the real one. Yeah, so this one's the real one. Um
you insist. Oh, the mirrors, the mirrors can't attack us, can they? Or can they? Or do they just die at the end of the turn anyway? Oh, wow. My will is my armor, fiend. Ektar, I contend with a demon prince. Oh, come now, Carver. It is beneath you to go groveling for aid. We shoot him again, then he'll piss off somewhere else, away from us, hopefully. Opening fire. Okay, so they're all around us. No reflection. That's the real one there. This one's just fake, right? Yep. So... Can't quite see the range of it. Yes, yes. I'm sort of thinking we just run until we get a few guys in here and then we just go ballistic and alpha strike them out of existence. I wish I had put all of my, I put armor on all of my guys. Because I wonder if, it, is my A team going to come in first or is it going to be like, just random. With alacrity. Oh, I got his action points back. Cool. The Emperor protects. So that's him there. He's going to leak probably all our put to here. Hmm. Is it closer to this? Uh, sort of closer to this side, I guess. So if we put, but oh, she can't, she can't move. All right. Um. Yeah, I'll just go like, that, I guess. This mission spawned your lobbies in. Oh, here. gross. Oh, luckily we got blonde in these like one of our top guys. You'll hard carry this mission, no problem. I don't think we had any sacrificial lambs or anything. The lowest guy in our whole army, I think, is like level 5. I feel the rot at my feet. Wounded is mission ready, Moonwolf. Just because, uh, just because a Grey Knight takes a minor wound or loses an arm doesn't mean they have to sit out of the battle. I don't worry about wounded. Fuck wounded. 
The guys that I need to go on the mission, go on the mission. I don't give a shit how many injuries they've got. It's my, it's my deal. It's my game. Shit. I hope the apothecary comes in. Oh, I'm gonna see if I get on. Fuck, I should have put her behind cover. Be guest of honor when we celebrate the Bloom's inevitable Morbus! Oh, what the fuck? How come he could shoot me and I can't shoot him? That's bullshit. Oh, is he behind cover? I'm not sure what's going on there. Allies targeted by ranged attacks from or to into this cloud take minus two damage. Okay. My blade is ever ready. My blade is ever ready. What is it? I was already planning that. Hmm. I don't know if I go here, if I go here, he might jump there and then he'll be able to shoot sideways at me anyway, so if I go here, I'll take less damage. Maybe. Oh, actually, we should shoot him with this guy first. Vaughn. your will. Again. 
Okay. Now we can... Can we shoot this guy? No. Not really. Um... Hmm. yours. Alright, we can teleport into... Hmm. No, we can teleport him to there. Maybe we'll get his action point back. Maybe we won't. Nope. Alright, and then we can... Give him armor. And then she can teleport to there. And get behind that. If you insist. Hopefully that's good. Reaction points. Um So I guess the next guy is going to come from this side. Then maybe I should run around here. Wondering about mirroring thing codex does. Could you use teleport strike to hit multiple meters? Find the real one? Yeah, you could, but um, you don't need to because you can just check his description. And there's um, only the main ones got the mirror ability. Like, only the main ones got the ability that makes the mirror images. All the other ones, like the, the mirror images can't make mirror images, only the real one can. So you can just check his status to see which one's the real one. Yeah, I don't think those guys aren't too much of a threat, because their mobility is pretty weak. And they like to set up overwatches and crap. Penetrated 57.3% of the Edict's core systems. My servitors are fully mind locked. With your leave, Commander, I will repel these borders. All right, get in there, Ekta. We need every man. We need every hand on deck. All right, what we need to do is shoot this prick. Standing ready. It can be your job. Hmm. Um. Does it have any other autos, or is it just the... Alright. Uh, so if we shoot him... We're going to go down to 110... 108. We melee him... Yeah, okay, so I better off shooting. Although... We...
shit. I didn't need to do that. Didn't do that. That's silly. We bring death. Fly sucks for range. Yeah, yeah, I probably would have done a lot more damage otherwise. That one. The one we've got foul reflection is is the one. Commander. Your orders. Disrupt. Yeah, I already shot him. He doesn't. He can't. You won't do it again. He only does it once per turn. Uh, plus, we're about to get a heap of crits on him, so we can just crit him. And she, can she this do? Be worth it. Can she do melee attacks? This is really bad. Really bad melee attacks. To serve. Disable, disable my intelligence, disable powered leap, disabled curse bond, disable empowered leap. Uh, disable empowered leap would be good. That way you can't. Yeah, that way you can't chase the inquisitor around. So she should be fairly safe. the Emperor. Yes, Commander. Be long for this world. Huh. I have only lifted a veil from their eyes, my dear. Allow me to lift it from yours. The Emperor lights our path. Sixty-two, sixty, or sixty-five. Yeah, sixty-two sounds good. Shit, that didn't sound good. Reinforcements at the end of the enemy turn. Oh shit. We better, uh, we better make this turn count. <laughs> Taste my fury! Oh uh, dear. Alright. That's fine. Let's 
Francisco has gone down big time. Big time. This time you will not escape, demon. You will be mine. Why you I didn't know you cared. Spoiler, there is no so return. <laughs> yeah. Right, no, he's dead. Well, I don't know, maybe we might have to fight all of the remnants. The enemy weakens! What's happening, big fella? Getting a bit tired, getting sleepy. What is your will? Should let the Inquisitor finish him up. Unleash me. Boom. Did we get his seed? Milk his seed. Oh, we've chained him up. Me? Kept him as his pet, our pet. <laughs> Your precious comments is burned. The bloom will thrive. <laughs> oh, hilarious. We have him, this warden of the bloom. Throne of the Emperor, slay this creature. We cannot. Without the Codex, the remaining Reapers will continue to spread their strains unimpeded. He is our only link to the blue. Report. The enemy vessel is disengaging. What the hell? It just rammed straight through the ship? Those cowards. It flees into the Sea of Souls. Destroy it before... What the hell did we repair those guns for? Fucking hell. I should, maybe I shouldn't have killed all the gun servitors. We just got like newbies that we just recruited on the nearest planet or whatever. We don't know how to buy the guns yet. I don't know, what do you mean no? Purge it, goddammit! Purge it with fire! Heretic confirmed. Can the Codex Toxicus be recovered, Inquisitor? No. No, it's precious wraith What do you mean, Ektar? It's been burnt I to shit, bro. It would be safe in the heart Clearly of the it cannot be recovered. The, Emperor's most elite demon hunters. the Emperor judges us all. This stillborn venture was your plan. <laughs> Delightful, isn't it, Carter? He not only questions your methods, but your authority as well. Silence, demon filth. Your time is at an end. Not yet. What? Why? This abomination serves the plague god. He must be exterminated immediately. This demon prince knew enough to locate and destroy the Codex. I must extract what else he knows. You made this mistake on the craft world, blindly chasing mysteries. And what would you have us do, Ektar? Without the Codex, we will flounder in darkness while those last two strains Who's spread that guy? beyond our control. Who's that guy behind her on the right there? What indeed? What indeed? Commander, hear our, me. Our guys don't wear helmets. The bloom spreads beyond our What's capability this heresy? to stop it. I am out of ideas and we are out of time. My one hope is that this demon knows something we can use. If I fail in the task, do what you will with me. Oh, we will. If you Don't you worry. For a moment, you'll, will you'll get cease your heresy choice. for sure. <laughs> he fears you, Carver. He is not my executioner, but he will be yours. <laughs> it's true. Carver's going to get executed for sure. 
As far as I'm concerned, she's already done more than enough to deserve execution. She's going to have to do some seriously... She's going to have to score some major brownie points to come back from this. Research Dominic, the Domination of the Cadex. What the fuck? Didn't I just do all this stuff? How do I research Dominatory? Oh, this. Cover the Bloom secrets. Alright, well... How many have you got? 19 days left. Uh, I guess we should... We may as well finish this, I guess. I see you have come straight to me. I want him destroyed far more than you, Commander. We must force him to do so. If you have another plan, please share it. What concerns you? We cannot fight chaos without sacrifice. I have yet to see you at a devotional service. Yeah, what's going on? I haven't seen you at church lately, Kudzera. I give thanks to the Emperor, but I do it my way. Oh yeah? Your way by like rubbing fucking Nurgle juice all over yourself and singing chaos hymns? What I concerns trust her not you? one bit. His presence has brought back some memories that I would have rather forgotten. I had once been assigned to investigate abnormal activities on the hospital estation of Systemonius. Cadex had possessed a Medicaid known as the High Disinfectari. He became obsessed with cleanliness and hygiene of the station. The Plague God has a sense of humor. While the High Spires were pristine, the levels below the surface of the asteroid where most of his patients went for treatment were foul and fetid, a place where demons festered in the bodies of the dying, where Cadex earned his nickname, the Beast of Systemonius. Yes, but not before being put under his care. When I realized what he was, I escaped and put out a request for aid to any who would answer. Fortunately, a small strike force from the Blood Angels chapter were in a nearby system. We purified every level, all personnel and medical servitors cleansed, but the corrupt stain left by his hand remained. In the end, I was first to or forced to order exterminatus. Billions lost. It was a failure I did not admit to easily. Bro, she's corrupted. She's corrupted as fuck. She was under his care. He was like injecting her full of like strains of Nurgle diseases and stuff. And then they together they conspired to wipe out an Imperial world using her authority to order an exterminatus. She did. She admitted that she was under the care of a heretic. He was treating her medically. So he had access to like inject her with all kinds of serums and shit. She's she's fucking tainted. Tainted as we all fuck. serve the Emperor. Grabs heavy flamer. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um we need we need to purge her ASAP. Fuck this, yeah. There's some serious problems going on here. Our servitor production's offline again. Oh damn it. Oh, it's not it's still still going. We have to wait 60 to 60 days. Oh dear. All right. You require a box to punish the traitorous wretch for the trauma and hurt. I will leave it to her then. Discarding redundant communicate. My logistician choir has been cogitating methods to gain ongoing supplies. The choir has pinpointed two likely inquisitorial enclaves in neighboring sectors. In theory, although. Only the Omnissiah knows if they will listen. Discarding redundant they do. Although I can feel his will probing against the blank minds of my servitors. He thinks to bypass the Inquisitor's containment and corrupt them into mindless pox. Discarding redundant communication cut. Very well. Mm. Initiating okay, power so... saving cycle. Perhaps we're going to get some, like, if we wait a little while, we'll get some inquisitorial places where we can get some supplies.
When in doubt, it's better to purge. Indeed. Yeah, we should definitely nuke her from orbit. We should finish minion take. Yeah, we can do that. We got this. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're gonna take the same. We'll take the same setup. We'll just um. Yeah, same. Yeah, same setup. It's fine. Yeah, we need the tin servitors for sure. Um, Dominus is too human, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, well, I think that there's, I think there's a bit of a, um, I think with the tech priests of Mars, there's a pretty big gradient. Like they're like even like the lowest tech level tech priests would be kind of pretty weird, you know. But um, but they would be pretty human. They'd be fairly human. They'd just be a bit like weird and like you know. Um, Um, but yeah, like the high level ones, or a lot of a lot of them would just like probably only speak in binary and stuff. An abandoned transportation hub. Our enemy's strategy is clear. The bloom settles in our Imperium's collapsed infrastructure, safe from watchful eyes, but close enough to the huge populations it plans to feed upon. Yeah, she's quite expressive, but yeah, and I think she's. I think the. I think she's pretty good. I think the Dominus is pretty good. Because I, I feel like there's individuality amongst the mechanic, you know. But yeah, I feel like them expressing human emotion would not be high on their list of priorities. But I think they would have they would have a variety of different personalities and stuff. I don't think we've have we fought on this planet before. I don't know if I recognise this map. Hmm. Unleash me. It will be done. I sense their presence. Hmm. Zora. This game is dope. Can't wait to buy it. Yeah, it's pretty, dope. Pretty, uh, pretty sweet. The Aegis shields us. With heads. Swords of justice. All right. Uh, I think we're gonna need. Uh, we're gonna need a teleport on this one. Suspect sensors detecting nearby foes. Um. My blade is ever ready. Does this have an auto melee auto game auto enrage rush when you know, hit over charges the attacker and grabs and throw So if I get it's only when you hit it gets hit in melee when you get that, right?
Oh, after he shuts down for self-destruct, can we then... Unleash me. I am here to serve. Let's um let's crit let's crit this thing. It succeeds. I have claimed this wretched bloom essence. Praise the Emperor. Actually, he's gonna be better at shooting that guy. Um, what is your will? Yes, Commander. Zora. Damage with melee attacks. Hmm. Hopefully, he will be stunned. Okay, I thought he was gonna like auto melee auto. Oh, maybe the enraged rush. They've got to go. That's like a I don't know what's going on with that. No way he didn't enrage rush me. Didn't I just melee him? Me. 
counter. Vengeance! Your orders? My blade is ever ready. So, who do we give him warp speed and iron arm? Because he's pretty good. There's a patroller here. I think it was moving that way, right? As ordered. I sense their presence. Okay, we, we should probably set that off then, I guess. My blade is yours. Moving out! My blade is ever ready. What is your will? Sola. Your orders. Does the apothecary have the armor? The apothecary has Terminator armor. Does that mean Ben Fields or? Oh, the, yeah, he's got the the armor that gives him unlimited willpower, yeah. He can use his health, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. My wrath is restored, brother. So if I do this, that will that, that'll heal me up first and then it will charge me the three willpower? Or will it just charge will it cost the three willpower first and then heal back the three willpower? I guess we'll find out. Gratitude. No, okay, so it, it, it takes, yeah, it charges you afterwards. Okay, so yeah, he's gonna sit at three willpower all the time now. Standing ready. Forty-five game, forty-five dollars for games, but yeah, I think this particular Permission game engage, is Commander. worth it for sure. Um, oh, that's the spreader there, right? Oh yeah, it's the one that does the yeah. Right. Um. Okay, so 
Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um. Mm. What is your will? He's got iron arm and warp speed. So everyone's got it except for your command. Sard doesn't have it yet. I am here to serve. and go and get the seeds. As you command, I sense them near. Stun on him. No devil shall elude my gaze. Should have disabled this vehicle. Yeah, cool. Now, Your orders? Praise the Emperor.
Oh, there's still another Bloomstorm to, for us to kill, right? Shit, I didn't quite uh, save any action. Let's go. Merge complete. No demon shall avoid its fate. Should have healed up. Yeah, we're good out. As you will. the source of justice! More reinforcements. Oh, well, I guess it's good to level up our guys, but... My blade is ever ready. I am here to serve. Unseen paths. Unleash me. For the Emperor. Blessed ammunition depleted. Me. What is your will? Yeah. Nail. Shit. We should not have done that. Weak. Vengeance! Oh. So to the unworthy. Standing ready. Oh, he's in got the outdoor. Chosen. My blade raise the air. What is your unleash me? I'm 
must refocus, Commander. Actual doctrine is way different from other streamers, much more grey nightly. Oh, thanks, Moonwolf. I, I, I guess that's a compliment, yeah? <laughs> yeah, basically, my guys just, they teleport in, they just wreck everyone, and then they just teleport to the next spot. That's my, uh, that's pretty much my tactical doctrine. enough to be able to deal with this without using a total teleporter. That's a couple of it. Oh, I didn't kill that clan, damn it. They come to their new father. standing in the fire. I feel that's gonna damage them a bit. These heretics will suffer the yeah, ultimate some, punishment. Took some money. Okay, so there's no warp crap this time. Oh, I think that plant might have died from burning. So that's alright. No, he's lost his buffs. He's lost his own buffs. The Emperor lights our path. Mm, better not use the psychic shriek because we Your probably orders. are going to need the um, teleport at some point. We bring Granites. Granites are, are very badass. My will is spent. Seek and destroy another. Resists my yeah, will. I don't know if I'm like digging the apothecary that much. Like his buffs are cool. If you can chain, like I think the apothecary is good for certain missions. Hey Chris Engel, thanks for some, thanks for subscribing, and um, and thanks for anyone else who's subscribed today as well. I I don't always see the subscribe messages, but I really do appreciate everyone who subscribes. It's I'm trying to get to fifteen thousand subscribers so I can try to get into the partnership program with Creative Assembly. Um, I don't think well, I think they changed it now so that you're not even guaranteed to get into it even with fifteen thousand subs. But um, but yeah, I think it's you know I think it'd be a good idea for me to your orders. Try and get there. Um, people keep trying to play it like XCOM, deep thought out maneuvers and cover all the way because afraid of getting hurt. You kind of do that, but when a Gribbly shows up, it's like brute force uber allies. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, definitely my philosophy is definitely like destroy everything as soon as possible. Just like if there's a threat, just obliterate it instantly. <laughs> like that's the that's the that's the primary doctrine. I'm not I don't do it like mindlessly though. There's definitely been a couple of times when I've had to completely change my tactics because I knew that it wasn't gonna work and I had to just run or I had to just tank it or you know whatever. And it's yeah it's been fun. Like I'm still enjoying this um I think it's because I've been trying out different classes as well. It's kept it quite fresh, you know. My blade is yours.
All right. What is your will? Because of the short you did of uh, losing your ship, less <laughs> subbed because the stream's been fun. Uh, thanks a lot, Moon Wolf. Um, yeah, I don't normally do like m funny meme type videos. I mainly just do like informative kind of strategy stuff. But um, but yeah, that one was pretty funny. So I tried to do another funny one after that, but it was really shit. So I should probably give up on humor. It's not really my thing. I just completely screwed up that um, the stomach almost. to serve. Get him. If we get, a, if we get a couple of crits, and, uh, we'll be right. uh, we might not be all right. Your orders. Got this. Close. Glory to Zyphos! Uh, not just the stream, but the chat community. I get enough drama in a day job. This is the kind of stream I need. Yeah, we're definitely a pretty chill, uh, pretty chill, friendly community here, I think. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, this is good. Perfect spot. Just um the Emperor of the Tanks. Slide off of the <laughs> I do enjoy Overwatch, like even though I don't use it that much. I 
comes through that gate, let's destroy it. Did you know that you get to overwatch against more than one target if you overwatch more than one action points? Yes, I did know that. Uh, but yeah, thanks for raising, thanks for letting, uh, thanks for bringing that up because I'm sure there's other people that, uh, that are watching that don't know that, so yeah. Um, yeah, if anyone has any tips or whatever, even if they're basic tips that you think I probably already know, feel free to post them up in the chat and if it's something that I think is worth reminding people about it, I'll read it out. Even if I, you know, even if I already know it, I might, you know, because I, when you, I find that happens a lot with a lot the of games, Emperor you know, like you get, you get sort of far enough in the game that you, um, you forget the like newbie sort of stuff. Your orders. Oh shit. Doesn't that guy have first strike? First strike, hundred percent. That's weird. Because I meant to I meant to use a different knight to I meant to use the interceptor to attack him so I'd avoid the first strike. But um Hmm. I don't know what went on there. Maybe it's because he was facing. Maybe it's because he's facing. Maybe it doesn't work if you hit him in the back. That's pretty cool if it does. If it is like that, and like shooting him in the back doesn't trigger it. Man, he's got a lot of hit points. I wish we had a grenade or a knockback um, or his knockback weapon. I took the knockback weapon off before. Vengeance! Feel my wrath! My blade is ever ready. Your command. What is your will? This is how it goes. Your command. Might have fucked up here. Unleash me. It was then that he realized that he fucked up. We bring death. I must rearm. I need one more action point. Alright, we're gonna take some damage. Oosh. Faster. Is that it? Just one hit. That was right. Pretty much tanked it.
Yes, Commander. My blade is ever ready. Back, fiend! Blessed ammunition depleted. <laughs> Stop putting that supporting fire on that guy. Power. See, buddy. Justice! Unleash me. Down. We slay the darkness. Not to worry. Oh, well, it's really far away. Sora. we didn't get our action points back have we got a living creature still left i think there was perhaps still a flower around here somewhere or something praise the emperor aye sir plant left behind yeah thought the plant died from fire but no nah, it's still alive Seeking the yeah, there it is. Oh, kill it. That's okay, actually. Now that kind of works out well because we can standing ready. Like move up there. Oh wait, is this one of the ones that shoots? Range ten, deal two damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10. Okay, we just need to move back a smidge. At once. Yeah, we'll move everybody up and then we'll um we'll kill the plant. Get our action points back and we'll be able to So be it, I guess. Okay, that will let us kill it in one turn. to serve. Cower. I am the wrath of Xyphos. Unleash me. As you command. My blade is yours. Alright, I think we're nearly done now. The Emperor of the Tents. Cool, All right? Yes, Nothing Commander. Else. It will be done. Ready. 
Kill command. Affirmative. Believe the phrases stop and smell the flowers, not go on a rampage and kill all the flowers. Triffid killing, yeah. What is your will? Good call, good call. Good call. But sometimes it's just got to be done. Your orders? I am his chosen shield. Yes, Commander. Warned. The Emperor lights our path. Seeking the tainted. Should get all our action points back now. All right, now we still do have Gate of Infinity, so if we we could just bum rush this guy all the way to the end. What is your will? Just do it that way. Arms off, ready for battle. Ooh, more experience. Um, should we get more experience? What is your or should we just finish it? I feel like we should probably just finish it now because. We're getting pretty low on willpower. Well, we're out of willpower. We've got no strategy left, and you know, it's all kind of bad. Um, a bit. I'm not even sure we'll be able to kill. I'm not even sure we'll be able to kill the spawn oh, when we get there. So, yeah, we better better be a bit cautious. Oh, what? Gift is more accurate. Well, maybe it depends who you're talking to. be about there now. The so we up and we're fair to put in here. Yeah, we'll skip that last mission. Is ever ready <clears throat> Your we'll remain efficient. With, with a scalpel. My blade is ever yeah, Vakir, Vakir said that she was the scalpel and that we're, that the Grey Knights are like the hammer. But it's like, no, Standing that's not true at all. The Imperial Guard are the hammer. The um the space marines are the are the scalpel. Tip of the spear. Right, need some XP, XP if we need it. Brothers, strike for the chapter. Okay, um, Get there. Uh, we've got no stratagems left. That's great. The IG of the hammer of the corpse emperor. How dare you, corpse emperor? Um. Yes, commander. What's his crit? Thirty-five. Mm. R L S. Your orders. Yes, commander. Ten percent. The Emperor lights our path. 20%. Okay, so he's got the most chance of critting. Um, Praise the Emperor. We'll make sure we grab this seed. Priorities. Moving out. Probably should have made sure I could kill the actual boss first, but it's okay. my fury! How much ammo has he got? Oh yeah, pulling ammo. Yeah, cool. So we can get his extra shots in as well. So we'll use... My 
focus fails me. Yeah, and then if we shoot this guy, he'll he'll um, add his fire to it as well. Um, so who's the best shooter? The local Unleash me. Actually, no, first we want to get a crit. What is your will? Beautiful. Extracted. Down. Bumble. Beautiful. It's probably going to get resistance, 100% resistance in a second anyway, but yeah, it's fine. My blade is ever ready. Oh shit, we're supposed I'm to be here to serve. killing this thing. Oops, forgot. Blessed are our arms. What is your will? Ah, oh, so we don't know if it's going to kill it in one shot or not. Yeah. Definitely not going to kill him. I must refocus. No, Come on, no, no, just give up on that. Um, Unleash me. Unleash me. Perfect. And then it'll be ready for the uh, medic to. Get the sweet, sweet XP. This Bando can get more of that. It's the last of the wretched filth. Well done, Commander. Slaughtered. Smack, smack, smack. Why is the exterminators button not working? Get me a servitor. I haven't, uh, yeah, I haven't actually gotten the exterminators yet. But look at the ship, it's looking all... Oh, actually, it's got a few explosions on the side there. Looking not too bad, though. I wonder, oh yeah, how much damage did we take from getting, like, impaled by the enemy plague ship? <laughs> Someone, they kind of just fix this button. I have a beautiful metal toaster. Um, so we get... 26 seeds, that was a pretty good haul. Plus a heap of requisition, plus servitors. That was fantastic. Loot. Big time loot. So 20% base crit activate to get another 40% crit on top of that. It's pretty good. An extra 3 crit damage. Uh, but it's only got 4 base base damage. Yeah, it's not that great. Look at this bad boy. Um, make it do 7 base damage. Die bolt update to one plus one. Crit plus one. It's a pretty good bolter. It's just a good basic bolter, you know. Oh yeah, plus six willpower. Sacred incense. Oh yeah, we want that. Oh yes, chaplain. Finally, are we wanting a chaplain? And we'll take this gun. What's his armor? Plus two armor, plus three armor. Like that's good. Resistance. Don't really care about resistances. Um, I don't know, maybe we should get some more armor just in case we run out. Swap Knight, um, I guess we'll get rid of this guy. I didn't even check this guy, I would see what he had. Pardon. Apothecary is nice and leveled. 
Does anyone else think incense item looks like the holy hand grenade? Yeah, or well, what's that? What's that globe that the queen has? The queen's got like a scepter, and um, a scepter and a globe, I guess. It looks like the globe that the queen has. The queen of England, who is also my queen. We're part of the Commonwealth in Australia. How cool is that? For and it, not for like all of the British, the Brits in chat, they probably don't care, but for the um. And um, and the Swedish people, they they're already down with having, you know, royalty and stuff. But for the Americans, how cool do you think it is to have a like? It's pretty cool. I've got a queen, isn't it? You guys don't have a queen, sucked in. <laughs> um, nah, I don't know. I should I shouldn't start I shouldn't start that about. Um, I didn't mean that to be like a a, uh, a political comment. More in terms of like fantasizing about medieval times. But yeah, it's weird in Australia because we're like a republic and the queen doesn't really have any power over us, I don't think. But um, but, um, but yeah, she's technically our head of state, I think. Or she used to be. Maybe they changed it now. But yeah, she's still our queen anyway. But yeah, she's more like a nominal head of state, I guess, or something. It's not really like... Yeah. Uh, let me just check out my barracks first. I want to check out my new guys. I really want to. I really want this chaplain to be good. Please, God Emperor, protect us, your servants. Make this chaplain a mighty warrior. Give him the best passive that he can have, and please let his skills not be spent on all the shit skills. All right, we've said our prayer. Let's see if they're answered. Oh my God! So much. Mmm, so much jizz. It's a chaplain. Chaplains have always been my favorite character. Like, well, they were like, the chaplain was like my first favorite character. Like when I first got into Space Marines, you know, like back in the day. When I was, yeah, like I was, when I was like 15 or whatever. Plus 10% crit against organic enemies. Beautiful. I'll take it. I will take it. Brother Grimaldus this is like, I got a good taste, yeah. Um, what do we got here? Okay, so Rosarius gives you plus one armor permanently. Then we've got Litany gains one extra one use per turn. Litany gains two uses per turn. Okay, we've got three use Litany uses, I guess. Whatever Litany, I don't even know what a Litany is. What's this? Intonement for guidance. Each guidance gains plus 35% crit for their ranged. It's pretty good. And we can upgrade it to plus 55. Uh, mental focus. When this knight crits a target with a ranged attack, they have 50% chance to get plus one AP. It's pretty good. Ranged crit. Oh, so we're already, we're already committed to this. So he's like a ranged, so we've got a ranged crit chaplain. Doesn't really fit in that well with the rest of our team. But that's okay. A oh, plus two armor permanently. Oh yeah. Fucking chaplains are tanky as fuck. Litany, uh, words power. Each knight gets plus two crit damage. Oh, plus two crit damage for all crits. Hmm, okay. It's pretty hot. I think we could, I think we could use it. We can make this happen. So is an atonement is atonement of guidance? Is that still a litany, or does it not count as a litany, or what? What the fuck is a litany? Litany of hate. Oh, here we go. When executing a target, gain an additional one action point. All knights. So wait up. So does this mean that if any? So does it mean that if any knight? Like, does it mean that if any individual knight gets an execution, that knight gets one extra action point? Or does it mean that every time you get an execution, every knight in your whole team gets an extra action point? Either one of those are good, but the second one is obviously a lot better.
It's only 2 AP for the executioner, not the entire team. Oh, okay, cool, cool. That's still pretty good, though. Still real good. Oh, yeah. I like him. I like him. All right, who is next on our... Um... Okay, so... The next person to get a rename was Pat David. And he said that his character, his preferred character name is Wolfie. Now, and one of the things about my rename policy is, so if you if you if you donate to the channel, if you do a super chat, then you get a rename. Generally, um, depending. Oh, sometimes I don't do renames, but we're doing renames in this campaign. But yeah, sometimes I don't do them because it can slow down the game and whatever. But um, I feel like the renames in this are really good because it's making us really get attached to the characters and stuff like that. Anyway, so if you do a rename, you know, or if you join the channel as a member, or if it's the anniversary of your membership, um, you know, every month you get like a free super chat, if you remember, then, um, then yeah, you can get a rename. But it has to be a lore appropriate name. So I'll, and I'll generally change the name to make it more lore appropriate. So if I, if I was going to make it Pat David, then I would have to, I would have to change it to make it something that sounds a bit like that, but it's not actually Pat David. Um, but anyway, but yeah, so Pat David wanted his guy to be called Wolfie. But I feel like Wolfie is a whack name for a chaplain, frankly. So we cannot call him Wolfie, unfortunately. Sorry, Pat David. But Patricus Lupus. That's pretty good. Yeah, your guy won't be getting called Warsmith either, Warsmith. Sorry. Um, correct the mundo. Um, so yeah, so okay, so I thought uh, his name, we could call him just Wolf because maybe he comes from like a barbarian planet and they're like, you know, what's your name? And it's like, I am Wolf. And they're like, fucking all right, I'll write it down, you know, um, you know, or yeah, we could call him, we could call him Patrician Wolfus or something. Pat the Wolf. At the wolf, <laughs> lol. No, um, we can call him Wolf. We can call him Wolfen, Wolf Lord. Peter Wolf, as in Father Wolf. How about we call him Wolf? The W U L F. Nah, but you gotta make it. You gotta make it sound like kind of similar to like the original name. Otherwise, you can't remember. Actually, I'm not even gonna be able to remember anyway. So hopefully, Pat David checks it out and remembers. Wolfnir. Yeah, this guy's definitely a Fenrisian. Patricus Wolf. Wolf on a good, but it's technically a curse, yeah. I think Wolfnir is it. Oh, maybe you should have two names. No, I can't. How about we make it Wolf Pater? That way we can remember it's Pat. I don't know. I'm feeling like we're going to forget that it's Pat. I'm just gonna, I'll, I'll just, now we'll make it Wolfnir because it sounds badass. Um, so yeah, so everyone, we just have to remember that Wolfnir is actually Pat David. I don't know how I'm gonna remember that, but hopefully he'll, he'll remember. Alright, what a fucking badass. What a beast. I'm loving this. Um, alright, Wolfnir. Wolfnir Vortimer? No. Sabers. A Dantor, Elva, Alda, Arellis, Basque, Bors, Cajulan, Corvin, Crassus, Dalmar, Deacon, Durant, Devon, Edian, Elgon, Estrius, Gerenian, Gar. Oh, Gar. so the names that you've already used up go, like Storm, you can't give him the same surname. That's pretty cool. The name the names show up on their on their plat their um arm plate plates. Hill, go. Hill, arm. Ignatius, Indio, Iolanthus, Sad, Kai, King, Kalmar, Kern, Malchus, Masius, Mir. Oh no, they oh so there's just shitloads of them. Storm, 
Uh, it can be stolen. All right, this is, he can be from the same tribe. This guy's from the same tribe as Wuda. It's Wuda's cousin. Wuda's like great uncle or something. Double skulls? Yeah. Uh, right pulls in option one. That one's pretty badass. Actually. Is there a big skull? Oh yeah, we got a big skull here. 14, that's pretty good. Is there a bigger skull? That's a pretty big skull. Yeah, I think we need to go with that biggest, the biggest skull that we can get. We've got the chestal, chestal area. Oh, we can't change the chestal area. Okay. Right, grieve. Doom. Wolfnir is the Doom Father. Fate and Doom, yeah, nice. That's hot. Here. Here. Praise the Emperor. I am here to serve. Yeah, he's also from the same tribe as he's from the same tribe as Wuda. They're like Celtic barbarians from from uh, Fenrir, Fenris or something. Alright, this is pretty good. I'm digging this. <clears throat> Crozius, affliction, vulnerable, 25% one turn. Blah, blah. Um, hmm. Storm. What we got here? Resistance, armor, meh. He's got six base armor. What a beast. Like, we should just have a whole army of Terminators. We should just have a whole army of um, chaplains. I think. That would be good. What? A, look at him. He looks like a Dreadnought. Yeah. Um, we might have to switch out his melee weapon for something else that does a bit more damage. The greatest living Primark once said... Beat your thoughts in. Beat your thoughts to the mold of your will. I, I've heard that quote before. I don't really remember where it came from, but it's pretty awesome. Imagine the amount of preaching and badass one-liners. I know the sheer, the sheer um, machismo of this fucking dude. I'm overwhelmed. I'm in awe of him. Alda. Little else fails, kick him in the nads. Yeah, that could work. I kind of want to get rid of that interceptor and see what it's like with no interceptor. I feel like it would make us definitely weaker, but it would also be pretty sweet. Get the healing up with this one, yeah. I want to get down into the crit down here.
Oh, plus one AP and plus five heal. Yeah, that's nice. The route, yeah. Yeah, the wolves are pretty good. Do you have hey, I actually like them even more now, like after the Horus Heresy, like stuff, like how they, how they became like the, you know, they're like the Emperor's executioners for killing other chapters. It's so badass, isn't it? Like that the, the space wolves are the chapter that he uses to kill other chapters. It's like, it's pretty badass. And the, the space how the space wolves just don't give a fuck about anything like they don't give a fuck about the inquisition you know like there's all these other badass like like the gray knights are like the most ridiculously mary sue overpowered chapter out of everything you know the um the custodes are like you know just basically living gods you know but you know the wolves aren't afraid of anyone you know <laughs> like i reckon they don't the, the wolves barely respect anyone's authority i don't think Maybe just if the actual emperor showed up, they'd listen to him, but that's about it. It's pretty badass. Um, <clears throat> do you have the heart of a purifier, Commander? We shall soon see. The traitor and the inquisitor. Anything to report? They are like two starving hounds circling each other. Engaging the mind of a demon prince does not usually go well. However, I can best serve. When the time comes, Commander, it will be satisfying to bring the fire. I pray we will be back on Titan soon. Should we get rid of anyone else? No, I think everyone else is pretty much good. The only one really, Garen Crow is a bit of a, I don't know if we really want him, but... Just have to... So I just need to back up the save so I can check it out later on. In case we um in case we all die. And I might want to make a video or something. So yeah, you can back up your saves, um, but you can't share them. So you can copy, you can save your you can back up your save files and put them somewhere and um, it's good because there's not very many save file slots. Um, um, yeah, there's not very really, not very many save file slots. So um, you know, if you want to like save heaps of different saves for a campaign, like you can save like all your early game save, saves, have five of them, then back them up, then save all your mid game saves, then back them up, then save all your you know. So you could actually have like you know, 50 different saves all scattered through a campaign or whatever if you want, uh, which is really useful for me because if I want to make videos, you know, it's, I need to have like saves at different times and stuff. I'm jealous of Husbando. That's how I wanted my apothecary to be. Uh, I'm sorry, Ben. Yeah, a lot of, um, there would have been quite a few people that unfortunately didn't actually make it into the, didn't actually make it into the, the list of uh, active guys. Yeah, we're probably just yeah, fair warning as well. If anyone else does do a super chat, we're probably not you're probably not gonna get into this campaign. You might get into we might go do another one after this though. But you'll get your name your name will be up here on the honor roll. The um up here. Okay, where are we off to next? This one. Can you get level 20 knights which communication? Can you get what? I'm not sure what you mean, Sergei. You can get up to level nine and then you can sacrifice um, knights to give more points to your um, existing knights. So that's pretty cool. He has returned from his solitary mission with glorious results. 
it seems there was a plague surgeon developing a novel method of spore dispersal. Our brother eliminated his cult before sending his soul to eternal damnation. I can see the experience was bracing. He has returned stronger and wiser than before. How cool is that? He's got a new talent, Cult Bane. He's got, so he's, he already had a passive, now he's going to have two passives. I never, yeah, that's awesome. Where is he? Yeah, right, right. you bad boy. Oh, he got a level up as well. So he got a level up and he's now got Cult Bane. Oh, wait up. Didn't he already... What? What happened to his original passive? So did he like lose his... He lost the passive and then he got another one? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I feel like he lost his original thing. Oh well, yes, it is what it is. Um, How difficult is this mission going to be? Danger level medium. What's the actual mission? Eliminate all seed carriers, so we've got to hold out for three turns afterwards. What was the um, oh, enemy reinforcements is the preferred... Enemy reinforcements three. be a nightmare with no, I mean, with no it's like interceptors are such hard carries you know like it's just I, I feel like it's gonna be a, this is a bad idea but we're doing it we're taking out the interceptor we're gonna we're going in with no interceptor ah oh, I kind of want to get Wooter in there as well he's level eight now we've got to get the chaplain in there very bad ass. Hey, range weapon. Um, I guess. We'll... You know, we don't want him to be the one doing the stunning. I guess we want the. We'll give him the stun bolter for now. Or we could give him. He's got a badass bolt out that does huge deeps. Melee weapon. 
Um, he's got a crappy crazy Arcanum that doesn't do much. So we need to upgrade that for maximum bop bopping. Yeah, we'll just make him a critter. Yeah, he doesn't look very badass with these swords, I don't know. I'm not sure if his badassness is correct. Stun Bolter. Golden Mandate, I don't remember which one that is. It says Bando is gone. Six damage. Plus one crit damage, uh, seven damage. What does a crit do with a ranged if you don't have any plus crit damage? I think it went, whatever. Anyway, it's good enough. Yeah, I think this is going to be a lot weaker than with the Interceptor, but it is what it is. Keep the crit on this guy. So many terminators. So we've got nobody who's not a terminator this time. Oh, he's what it is. Range crits do nothing if you don't have plus crit damage. It's just that you can stack plus crit damage pretty hard on ranged attacks. Yeah, yeah. Got a fair bit of it on some of them. Why is it we detect these seeds so often in the ruins of our great ecclesiarchy? It is the Plague Lord mocking us, Purifier. He mocks the edifice of our Imperium. 
This bloom is only one of countless jibes. We will undo every one of his jests, brothers. The seeds lay ahead. Extract or destroy them. Smite them, brothers. Aye, wolf near. The wolf bow that will lead the way. Follow me, brothers. Oh, this dude's the best. This dude's the best dude already. I don't even care what his abilities are. We did a little, see, did a little sword flourish. The That's pretty fancy. On my way. What is your will? With haste. <laughs> yes, Commander. Affirmative. Um, it's not going to move this turn, so we've got time. Yeah, we might be able to chain him. Is restored, brother. Hmm. Didn't get any of them on our guys. Praise the Emperor. Okay, so My blade is we should be able to get pretty close. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, so we probably could get to about there. What is your will? Advancing. This is going to cost him like one willpower per turn, is that how it works? And like, if I... The Emperor lights so off. he's got 8 out of 9 willpower now. My now, I wonder if he's going to lose a willpower when I port over here.
Deep strike. Going in. Brothers, I have discovered the enemy. Okay. What is your will? I don't know. Okay, so he didn't lose another. He didn't lose a willpower point. So if we can chain the turns together, then he won't lose any willpower points. So that's pretty good. Didn't he? Oh, immune to autos. What? Is he immune to autos? Oh no, he doesn't seem to be immune to autos. He's getting the shit shit out of him doing that. Um. All right, so. If we shoot this guy. I thought he had the stun yes, Commander. Unleash me. Did I not get the stun gun to him? Aha. Give it to this guy. That was a mistake, because we need to use all of his side bolt side we need to use the side energy for torture. Crap. Don't think that through. Hmm. Yeah, I think we got two back. It's pretty cool. Big time. Hey, you, you, didn't you promise that all? Am I? Yeah, I did, I did. And then, but then afterwards, I um, I was thinking, well, we're right near the end of the campaign, so it's kind of stupid to just disrupt that now. And you know, may as well just finish this campaign. You know, it might take another day or two, and then go into the Warhammer after that. So yeah, sorry, I did promise Warhammer, and then yeah, here we are again with more Cascade. But. It will be Warhammer soon. I am hanging out to play some Warhammer. I really want to play either Dwarfs or Empire. So yeah, I put a vote up on my community page if you want to vote for one of those. Um, but yeah. All right, let's see if we get a crit on this bad boy. Disable us because it'll make him like wander around. Just 
Tonight, and I see you're a 40k follower now. Oh, I've always been a 40k follower. More of a 40k follower than a fantasy follower, I would say. Although I do love them both. Yes. Good experience. Unleash me. My blade is ever ready. Zola! Uh, okay, yeah, so this guy's got... Um, Standing ready. Yes, Commander. Now, I reckon he's not going to get first strike on me because I'm attacking from directly behind again. I'm hoping. And if we can get a crit, then we can disable his weapon armor. Alright, well maybe we can get around behind him again. And do it this side. Him. Unleash me. Your command. What is your will? stream tomorrow same time yeah same time again tomorrow bro brother Grimaldus. um yeah so i'm currently the schedule is i do the early time the early time like i started today four hours earlier than normal on friday and saturday and then um on all the other days i stream at my normal time which is 4 a.m for me 4 a.m 4 a.m australian eastern standard time uh you're in portugal and i'm streaming prime time over there oh good thanks that's great you We'll be here. Uh, awesome, man. I appreciate that. Um, so, yeah, it makes it a lot more fun. Like, I mean, I think at minimum, if, if I've got at least like 10 people watching the stream, like at minimum, and they're, and they're chatting a little bit, that makes it, that's sort of like the minimum for it to be fun, you know? If like, there's only like five people and no one's talking, it's kind of not much fun, you know? If you've got at least 10, it's definitely fun. But when you've got like a lot of people and the chat's really lively, it makes it a lot more fun for me as well. Um. All right, so we want to keep this turn rolling. I came on last night and you were talking about the dating prospects of your squad. Of uh, oh yeah, like Lord Sergeant Lord. Mercer's, like using the um, Imperium dating app to um, find find single loyalists in your area. But yeah, but he, he didn't have any success because he kept trying to fill out the survey about like what his interests were and stuff. And he couldn't remember anything because he keeps getting mind wiped all the time. It's like, what's your favorite color? Don't know, mind wiped. Like, what do you enjoy doing? Don't know, burning stuff, healing heretics, I guess. You know, what's the most, <laughs> what's the, what's the life experience that you think has changed you the most? Don't know, mind wiped. <laughs> See, he just can't fill out the survey, so he can't get on, like, Imperium Tinder and find single loyalists in his area. My 
blade is ever It's just hard. Ready. Loneliness in the 41st millennium, you know? Also, we've got this, like, hideous facial scarring. Not all, not all of the, uh, female, uh, female loyalists in my area like that kind of stuff. I think I get ready to for a watch handover. If you're still up in an hour, I'll be back. Love the stream, Mr. the Mad, and we're looking forward to the next one. Ah, uh, no worries, meanwhile. Thanks for coming, man. It's good to have you here. Uh, it's always good to have uh, new people. Me. Um, new people are joining the team. They're joining the chat. I am here to sell. That's one. That's one cool thing about streaming, actually. How am I liking the apothecary? I am. I am kind of liking the apothecary, actually. I feel like it's. I, uh, see, this team is a very much like a setup team. Like the uh, the apothecary's got crazy buffs. The chaplain's got crazy buffs. You know the um, and the um, and the justicar's got a crazy buff. And the librarian is the one that gets everybody into battle, so they can use those crazy buffs. But like, there's no like, there's not much flexibility. You know, the interceptor gives you that flexibility. You need to move across the other side of the map. Boom! Interceptors over the other side of the map. You need to get around behind them. Interceptors around behind them. You got a guy that um, has like first strike, so you can't you can't charge into him in melee. Interceptor can um, teleport onto him in melee. You got a guy that can parry your attacks. Interceptor can't be parried. You know, like the interceptor is just like your guy who gets the job done. Um, so like having three buffers and an interceptor is great, but having like a lot of buffers and no interceptor means, you know, it's a bit more tricky. Basically, we just need to make sure we don't run. If we run out of teleports, then we're fucked basically. Um, that's, yeah, that's the short version of it. Um, as long as we've got teleports, we're, we're probably okay. Okay, so who needs to buff? The librarian's got his buffs. Chaplain's got his buffs. This guy doesn't need his buffs yet. Alright, so you're gonna uh, get to there. Your orders. And then you can move up again. What is your will? Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. Sora. Restored, brother. Gratitude. Right, it's beautiful, beautiful. I am here to serve. Standing ready. My blade is yours. Swiftly. All right, we're definitely within range now. Um, You know what else can't be parried? Bullets. Yeah, but then again, what if you've got one of those guys that reflects bullets? Need somebody to get into melee? Interceptor. Like, the Interceptor basically... Like, there's... The Interceptor can literally deal with everything. There's nothing the Interceptor cannot do. Like, that's why the Interceptor is such a hard... Like, a hard carry for the team, you know? Um... What is your will? I 
Actually, yeah, if we can teleport like right on top of these guys so that we're already in melee with them, that would be good. Okay. Now, I want to get a melee crit here. If we can. Praise the Emperor. What is your will? Oh, he's not the he's not the stun guy. Fuck. The um, oh well, actually no, he can just run in and melee, can he? Oh shit! Stop fucking shooting! Oh god damn it! Yeah, we fucked up. Feel my wrath. That was really bad. My blade is ever ready. What is your will? I don't feel like we really need these seeds. Unleash me! Virgins to AP to interceptor. Don't know if you use this mission though. I don't even have an interceptor. <laughs> yeah, I don't even use an interceptor this time. That's how I. That's how badass we are. I'm liking this apothecary in melee though. He's not bad. those action points. Your eyes are crossed. <laughs> um, Alright, where's the next target over there? Oh, this one's right here. Okay, um, that's probably where we want to go. Yeah. 
Oh, we can't teleport. Oh, no, we can, though, because the action... Yeah, the eternal end. All right, so... Yeah. Not sure if we can get... Vision up there or not. Hmm. We can try. Your command. Your command. Oh, he's got the buffs too. Everyone's got the buffs. Nice. Standing ready. Shall elude my gaze. Yeah, the um, the apothecary and the ch the apothecary and the chaplain together work pretty well. I like this squad actually; it's pretty cool. As long as we've got enough stun. Um. Oh yeah, the apothecary can purge. No, I don't think I don't know if the apothecary can purge. We might need something that can purge enemies, though. I am here to serve. The Emperor lights our path. Let's see. Your orders. We go. So, um, so we go there. Yeah, so we go there. What happens there? I am here to serve. Okay. okay um. What about this guy is there? Get a bit more vision. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Praise the Emperor. Maybe we shouldn't risk going any more. Yeah, we'll just take that. Good enough. Filth unwanted. <laughs> the swords of justice if you were a class what would you be i wouldn't mind being a chaplain i think it'd be cool to um you know give all your bros like your spiritual wisdom and stuff pop some stun on these guys <laughs> oh, what is your will? Theory because I'm a pharmacist. Okay, nice. Correct answer is Chaplin. Exactly. My blade is ever ready. Alright, get some more willpower back. Get a little selection. Slaughtered. Oh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, the Chaplin. Fuck. Oh, you're gonna.
Yeah, the chaplain. If if you got a if you got a strong stun team, then the chaplain's good. I reckon even like two librarians could be good too. Oh no, you don't really need two librarians because the li because the chaplain can give his willpower to the librarian if need be. Unleash me. Oh, this guy lost his stun. Oh, he hasn't got his... Oh, shit. Heal 12, okay. Pretty good. Focus fails me. So we put hmm. Looks like you're running out of IP. Yeah. Running out of space to store our AP. Because we've got too much too much AP. Alright, so yeah, so now we cast this on ourselves. My wrath is restored, brother. Interesting. Now you cast him with zero power. Oh, he's got special armor that uses his health instead of his willpower. Cast. Yeah, it's like special kind of unique armor. It's pretty cool. This team of these two. I like it. I love how they're all in Terminator armor as well, so they're all just tough as hell. It's pretty cool. Do a ten willpower. We only got one pod left, so yeah, we may as well give the um, may as well give the points to the librarian. What is your will? At once. What is your will? Standing ready. so fast. Oh, it's because of the, the um, apothecary, yeah. 
The movement's pretty good. What is your will? Yes, Commander. As ordered. Destroyed. Beautiful. All right. More or less. Silver dolls. Nice Shall we play together? Why don't you get reduced max HP next mission? Um, yeah, probably. Permission to engage, Commander. Hmm. I should have healed him, actually. I should have used him to... to heal himself before just now, but... Um... Where's the librarian? There he is. This is my favorite guy. Have you another couple of action points? And another couple. And another couple. Just um, what is your will? He'll, he'll get him to heal himself. Actually, if we get him, if we get him, to, if we give him two more kills, um, then your orders. He won't have to. Won't have to I have any HP. Um, he'll still. I'm pretty sure he'll still. Um, I'm getting a first strike there. Um, hmm. What about maybe like that? Um, no, I haven't played Panzerkorps. Panzerkorps. Got heaps of armor, so he should be able to tank it. Take his seeds. Another foul seed clean. Oh, actually, we can't. Oh, now I killed the first one. We can't get two kills on him. Um, that's okay. We can. Heal him a little bit. Heal him a little bit more. So there's only like three hit points down. Let's refocus, Commander. There's only two hit points down. How'd that work? That's weird. Oh, I wonder if that'll be enough that we don't get a like, we don't get a weak arm. 
Unleash me! So I think he's doing four stun hits, which is pretty good. Chaplain's a beast. Match for the Emperor's chosen. Yes, sir. The boom has been contained. I sent more of Nurgle's minions on the way. We should recover your brothers and my seeds. Oh man, we're gonna kill so many things. So many things. I thought that the um, I thought that the Justica was good, but the Chaplain's like. A beast. If he got, if he can stun him, that is. I don't know if he'll be as good for boss fights. He had a willpower. Oh, the one willpower, right, sends the willpower first and then add the excess. Okay, so I could have actually saved, if I had have let him get these kills, then I would have actually saved him. Would have actually saved him a bit, yeah. Unleash me. All right, let's, um, just get ourselves set up here. Uh, unfortunately, our buffs are gonna wear off. Because um, we have to wait for a couple of turns, but that's okay. So many action points. Fantastic. Yeah, this is pretty uh, in pretty late game. Uh, we're up to like the day seven, seven hundred and twenty or something. So in two, it's been two years. We've been fighting hard fought campaign for two years. Standing ready. What is your will? Weapon rearmed. Mm. 
Yes, Commander. Death to the empty. Ah, empty. Alright, good. Now... Your orders? My plate is yours. Now, I need to... Go up here. We travel unseen paths. Two years done, only 3,999 years ago. Um, I don't think, we you know, we're already in the year. This is already near, close to the year 40,000. Um, Alright, how are we going to do this? Um, My blade is ever ready. Unleash me! You can melee him. Or... Yeah, that's Chaplains, the chaplain. Fuck, this is crazy. This is like as crazy as it was when we first started. Um, when we had the overpowered. Um, My blade is ever ready. Overpowered um, just the guys. And just like the, we just like the more we kill, the more the more um, the more action points that we get. <laughs> Focus chaplain melee build. Uh, no, no focus. Just um. Just got the um the litany of hate on. Uh, yeah, we'll just tank this guy's. Oh, he's not gonna. Oh, he's not gonna get first strike for some reason. This way. slaughtering everything with these uh, twin swords. So good. You have been judged. You have been judged. You've been found wanting. Taste my fury! 
taste my fury. This feels rad. The Emperor lights our path. Moving now. Your command. Command. My blade is yours. My blade is yours. Unleash me. Can you write down the guy, other guys on the other level? No, no, well, the, the chaplain's brand new. This is only the chaplain's like second mission. <laughs> but he's just been getting a lot of kills. Uh. So I guess we just hang around now, just have a little communion, wait for the next, uh... I am here to serve. Yes, Commander. Defense is... What is your will? Um, yeah, now everyone's like, we're pr most of the guys are all pretty much like max level now, anyway. Recovery sequence oh, well, that's the first time I've like wiped out all of the reinforcements on one of those missions. And it was, um, yeah, mainly all due to the chaplain. He's a beast. As long as we've got like little enemies to kill, then he can just. We can just chew through them. As long as they've got enough health to survive until they get done. All right, what have we got here? Willpower, willpower, immunity to drain. Armor. It seems like a pretty good, um, pretty good stuff. Hello, skull enraged. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. This terminator armor is sort of okay. Like four base armor and lots of willpower. It's a bit, mm, a bit meh, but oh, you didn't go up a level. Lame. Should have killed more stuff. Yeah, husband. No, he didn't take any additional wounds. So the two hit points. I think if you can, if you only take like two or three hit points of damage, it doesn't do anything. You can just ignore it. But I'm not sure exactly what the. I'm not sure exactly how it works. Like what the threshold is or whatever. Um, but yeah. Am I to understand that you are harboring a demon prince on board the Edict? That is an extraordinary measure, even by the standards of this unorthodox campaign. Yes, yes, there are exigent circumstances. I shall trust in your will, but know that you will be judged for any ill consequences. Um... 
If we put Ektar in there, will I get negative, will I get reduced experience? I could probably post a regular guard. That would be kind of cool because depending on what like random knights to get assigned, like they might be part of our main team and then we'll have to like change our team around and deal with it. So that could be kind of fun. A wise choice, Commander. Wilkman, Gull, and Spartan Travan. Hmm, okay. No, I don't think either of those guys are part of our main team right now, so that's alright. Six days till we finish that. All right, good. And we're still, how many more days? 43 days before we can start building stuff again. Shit. All right. Now we can do the research for the... I think this is... Is this like the final... Is this like the end game, like final research? Codex is my prisoner and his mind is mine for the taking. Without the Codex, Toxicus is our only possible lead against the Bloom. I urge you to begin the rites of domination at once. Alright, the domination of Codex will begin. I'm pretty sure this is going to unlock the... You know, the kind of final part. But... I'm not sure whether it's going to be like one last mission or whether there's still going to be like another campaign that we have to do. Um, in Emperor text to speech, who's your favorite character? Um, I don't know. I don't really remember that many of the characters. I guess that main, the main, um, that main custodies, the what the reasonable one that's always like trying to be like the one that mainly talks to him and reports to him and stuff. The one that doesn't, the one that's got his like shirt on and shit. He's not one of those nude ones. Kitten. Is that his name? Yeah. Yeah, text to speech is is over now, isn't it? There's no more text to speech, right? Oh yeah, we'll just see what we can. Far or less. Um. Oh yeah, we need to get. Ruthless Precision. Get some points back when he crits. And getting that extra willpower point up there would be nice. Storms continue to expand across the perimeter of this sector. We have not received any transmission from Grandmaster Kai, but Titan support, thankfully, appears able to reach us. Oh, I wonder if we've gone past like where you're supposed to have finished the campaign. Like, because maybe because my campaign's been going so long, like there's no more scripted speeches from Kai, or maybe not until like you get to the next stage or whatever. I don't know if I should bother with this. Three out of four hull integrity. Our hull integrity is pretty good. Um, I don't know if we should hunt down some more of these ships or. I 
we'll go in right here. This is more Grimmars. The Grimmars will speed up the research. That could be good. Without Mastercrafted armor. Fuck. I'm sick. I don't like taking off the Mastercrafted armor. It's annoying. Oh, shit. So if we go there. Oh, we can still make it here. So these gate ones last longer, don't they? 11 days left. Oh, okay, no. So they don't last that long. Silent judgment for not purging the demon. It doesn't give me the option to purge the demon. We mission without using servo skulls. Well, that's pretty easy because I don't even have servo skulls. So if we go to this one first, we still, oh no, we won't make it there. All right, well, we can make it to this one and then go to that one though. So that's going to be pretty good. We've got two missions here. Alright, gonna have to be reading this Update. bit more carefully this time. Sertors have recovered an uncatalogued artifact from the subjects. The weapon should be returned to the armory of Titan for analysis. What purpose would it serve in some dusty armory? We should use it! This weapon is part of our legacy. We could enshrine it on board to honor Xyphos's history. Enshrine it to inspire your brothers? Um... Yeah. Such a waste. Our brothers will appreciate this act. You shall see, Commander. Oh no, because oh wait up, plus a hundred percent construction speed. So does that mean that we're back to full plus we're back to construct because before we had minus hundred percent, right? So we might actually have gotten our construction going again. It's crazy. And we get high morale plus one willpower. That's that's good. So did we fix, we just fix our, um... Oh yeah, we're back on board. Repair, oh no, infinite days. Oh. Oh, okay, so our construction's, our construction speed is fixed, but yeah, we still have construction still, and uh, yeah. I think our construction speed's back to 100%, but we still have construction disabled. Yeah, offline. Suspended. No, oh, no, it didn't work, yeah. Still zero. Oh well, never mind. Infinite days. It's a long time. Yeah, I wonder if we're gonna get the bug out now as well. It might like cause uh, people have said there's a bug where you can get infinite days and it never like resolves. I wonder if I might have screwed it up now by getting that by getting that other buff and then that allowed because normally you weren't allowed to choose anything, I think. But that allowed that allowed me to actually choose something. So now it's might screw it up now. Hopefully not. Infinite time, infinite days is a long time. That's true. It's uh, it's longer than like a few days. It's pretty long. Okay, death guard encounter. Let's try not to lose any health. Alert! Small scale projectiles launching from the enemy vessel. Torpedoes. Negative. Analysis patterns reveal satellite deployment. Vox transmissions detected. What are they casting? Commander, this could be the Dark Tongue. Order your crew to put on their helmets and... Update. Multiple crew stations unresponsive. It's a distraction. The enemy ship's maneuvering to attack. Might deploy, should I depl deploy a librarian to call the noise? Hey Saishu, how you going man? Um, yeah, I think I'll put a librarian. The Knights of the Librarius will silence them. Garium damaged, god fucking damn it. <laughs> Again? This is it gonna really like out for longer now? Now, how long is it going to be? Thirty-eight days. Okay, so it's only thirty-eight days. 
Right. Hmm. Uh, it's only 30 days apparently, so we might have 15 days of plus 100% construction speed, maybe. If it doesn't bug out and just ruin our whole campaign. Uh, I'm not going to do the, um, I'm not going to unequip their armor, it's too much of a pain in the ass. Day 757, whoever was asking about the days. Shoot the satellites? Yeah, I think maybe I should have shot the satellites, but I didn't want to lose. I didn't want to risk losing any hull, because um, every time we lose hull, it's like you know. Uh, it looks like we're all ready to rock and roll. Um, oh, actually, what heads do we get for a wolf in there? I didn't. Heads unavailable. Oh, you can't. You can't take his helmet off. That's cool. Like the chaplain never takes off his helmet. I like it. My my first chaplain I had had like a he had no helmet and he had like a bionic eye. He was pretty badass. I don't know if you've seen him. He's the one that's got like he's got like one arm kind of out to the side with a pistol and the other arm straight up in the air with the crozius. Pretty awesome mention. He was my first chaplain. Classic miniature, yeah, he's pretty cool, pretty classic. Pretty awesome miniature. Um, the miniatures have got the miniatures have gotten a lot better now than they used to be, but that one was one of the ones that was pretty good even for an old an old an older old school miniature. You know? I don't know if I really want to change anything. Um, we I don't think we're really using all of our different things now. All we really just we yeah, really yeah, but it's fine. It's doing it's doing alright. Um, what armor is the chaplain rolling with? No, who is? Hmm. He's got plus four armor. Yeah, this one's kind of better because it's got like extra willpower. But he doesn't really need the extra willpower. But... Should we take Husbando's helmet off or should we just leave him being mysterious with his helmet on? Nah, he doesn't have any specials. There's no special stuff or anything. I think it's kind of cool having some of the guys with their helmets on. Oh, actually, we should change his. Let's say. Let's just, uh... so let's just say if he did have his helmet off, then it would be this. This would be him. But he wouldn't have like bright red eyebrows. That would be really fucking weird. That looks a lot more normal. But he doesn't take his helmet. He's usually just like that. Cool. I just couldn't deal with knowing that underneath the helmet he had what he had orange eyebrows. Yeah, really weird. Let's do this. I'm getting more and more into 40k. I wonder if I should start. I had some Lotro painted 15 years ago or so. Yeah, I really. Uh, I, I've been thinking about painting a lot, but I haven't painted in, like, I don't know, 20 years, 25 years. 
And I was pretty good, like, when I was younger, like, for, you know, for a kid. Well, I mean, I wasn't very good. Yeah, I was, like, 20, I guess. 20, 25, whatever. Um, I was, I was like, pretty good for, a, like, a, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Are like, I was possible, I guess. I was, like, the, you know, I was probably, like, the best painter out this of my friends. This is a bustling industrial but, um, world. But, you know, not, not up, like, golden demon spawn below. standards or anything Corrupt like that, you know. The weak and the uh, I could, like, dry brush and, you know, do washes and stuff like that. But I wasn't up to that level of doing like shading with multiple coats and stuff like that. So yeah, but I'm, I'm kind of interested in getting into that, you know? Like, so I, okay, so typically I would do like a normal coat, um, I'd do a wash and then I'd do a dry, and then I'd dry brush. Um, but yeah, I didn't really know about like highlighting, edge highlighting and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, so if I was gonna get into it again now, I'd kind of like to do, yeah, at least edge highlighting. And I'd kind of like to get into, I don't know, I'd like, I don't know, I'd like making beautiful miniatures is pretty, is pretty awesome. I like, like, I like making stuff. Like there's something fun about making stuff, you know, like I like woodwork as well. I don't like, I don't know. I'm not a carpenter or not, I'm not good at it or anything, but like making shit out of wood, making paint, like painting paintings. I really like paintings as well. Actually, I'd highly recommend that. It's like therapeutic, you know, like if you're, um, if you, um, Yeah, if you haven't tried it, like just get like a big piece of paper or a big or a, or a wall or something. The bigger, the better, actually. Yeah, painting on walls. I had a friend who was into graffiti, and he took me out. Of, he took me out a couple of times, and um, yeah, like um just painting a wall or something like that like with colors and stuff big big colors you know big stuff it's pretty um i don't know it's, just, it's pretty cool there he is um Zola, what is your will your command As Unleash me! Moving out! Unleash me! Pure among impurity! My wrath is restored, brother! Praise the Emperor! We travel on sea paths. There is corruption brooding here. Onward, brothers. Next turn, we're doing it. What is your will? Unleash me! Sora! Odd! Oh, shit! Okay. Well, that just happened. a painting stream if i i mean i don't know hey kosa thanks for subscribing man much appreciated yeah I'll, i'm yeah i'm trying to get as many subscribers as i can to like get up to like fifteen thousand because it's well i don't know i feel like well that used to be what the level that you needed to get to to get partnership into the partner program for creative My assembly but i think they changed it now but i still think it would be yeah i still think i should try to get to fifteen thousand before i apply for it um, and yeah, if I can get to it, if, if I can get to 15,000 before, before, um, 
Immortal Empires comes out and get into the partner program for that. It'll be really good. Let's rock! 15k? Yeah, it's what I need to get to. So I'm up to 14,250 or something at the moment. So I still got another like 750 to go. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to make it in time, but... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should, I don't know. Maybe I'll just beg them for a special consideration or something. Yeah, like, I, I don't know, a lot of the other creators, like, kind of, their channels grow a lot faster than mine. I, yeah, I don't really grow very fast. But, yeah, no, I think, I know I'll get there eventually, but it's just, um, Immortal Empires, I think, comes out in about two, two to three months. So it's like, it's like possible that I could get to 15,000 by then, but, you know, it's probably, it's, it's pretty, pretty likely, I guess. It's pretty likely I will we'll get there, but it's not guaranteed. It'll be, cl it'll be close. Actually, standing ready. that's my boy. All right, you get in here and... Um, hmm. Hey. Okay. We got problems. We got problems. We haven't got our buffs on yet. Um, we need that. We need our buffs to get your orders. Get this shit rolling properly. I am here to serve. So Lebrun's got his buffs. My blade is used. Yes, Commander. Standing ready. Right, maybe we won't worry about the seeds. Unless we get like yellow seeds, then we'll definitely get onto that. Taste my fury. What is your will? Embrace them! I'm um, no, I'm using Litany of Hate, so we get more. Um, using Litany of Hate, so we get more action points when we kill when we do an execution. The Emperor lights our path with hate. Hail him! Justice. Beautiful. It felt like justice to me. It felt exactly like justice. Ammunition device lays ever ready. Seek and destroy another. Which one's the near power? Yeah. That's the one that gives you the crit. Our oh, words of power. Plus two crit damage. Immune to auto. Oh, immune to autos. Wait up. It says immune to autos, but it doesn't like, I don't know. I still get more autos though, so I don't know. I oh, see, so you, do you start off with these litanies automatically or did I choose, did I skill into them? I'm not sure. Your orders. Seeking the tainted. Immune to autos means the skill doesn't trigger Overwatch. Uh, okay, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah. Yay. Uh, 
you get uh, you get a crit in here and steal the seed. I am here to serve. Feel my wrath! This is coming with me! Right. He's got one action point left. Your command. He's got three. Unleash me! He's got three. Stop. Yes, commander. Four. charge heal on your apothecary every turn to give free AP to people. Yeah, true. Orders. But it does damage to him though, so it's like I've got to heal myself every now and again as well. And, well, I suppose we can just yeah, we can just we can always just heal ourselves afterwards. Eh? My wrath is restored, brother. I should have disabled its melee weapons. Is it currently stunned? Oh no, it's got one stun point left. Um, three damage. He's got 12 willpower, he's got Your orders. 12 willpower, he's Praise the Emperor. 19 willpower, uh, yeah he's fine. Um, Alright, where's, where are the, um, where's the... So we'll get get everybody charged up. What is your will? Your command. Yes, commander. Oh, what? You want to do that? I wanted to move the librarian first, but I forgot. God damn it. Okay, so he's good. He can. Oh, wait, we're going, we're going this way. I'm loving these dudes, they're so cool. Um, alright. RLS. Just the car. He needs his he needs his buff. What is your will? Unleash me.
I'm sorry for the moment. Yep. This restored brother. I like to have as many coloured names in chat as possible. <laughs> That's my real motivation. I wish there was more like Twitch where you could have like different titles and stuff like that. Um, oh, they brought, I think they brought in a new thing now where you, like, you can gift memberships. So if you're a member of the channel, you can like buy memberships for other people as well. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but yeah. Um, I was thinking about like, I don't know. Maybe I should do something with that. Maybe I should make like a junior member thing or something. Like um, Neophytes, that'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's already in, it already is on YouTube, but I don't think everyone's got access to it. I'm not sure if I've got it or not. Maybe I don't have it. But yeah, um, I think only certain, maybe only certain people can do it. But yeah, but I was, but yeah. So, what do you, do you think it would be cooler if just normal, like I don't know. It's probably not really a big deal. I don't think many people would be interested in it anyway. So, um, Silver. Give myself an action point. Uh, that. That's pretty good. Advancing. What is your will? There's any like I thought maybe better just see through a window or something. I might be able to... hmm. My blade is My blade is is uh, I don't want to lose the turn, so we'll give extra action points to this bad boy, and then we will. Here. I was rolling a Apothecary and Terminator armor, it's pretty pretty useful. Yeah, the Apothecary is pretty good. Um, if, well, I don't know, they're good in the right team, I guess. I don't think that they, I don't think that this would be anywhere near as good for a lobby team. I think it's only good because we're so powerful, you know, because we're so powerful, like we can just roll on and smash everything. Works well with the support fire build. Silver Knights. You need an interceptor to get the executions though, wouldn't you? Oh, we're not the apothecary, sorry. The, uh... Yeah, because you only get the stun on... The stun only applies to, like, uh, melee. So, the Apothecary is better for melee, isn't it? I feel like almost any knight needs to be in the right group to really shine. Except for the Interceptor. The Interceptor will be your star player, like, at any, any, any time you can take him in. Does everyone still have their buffs on? Because before I feel like somehow there was like a stealth turn that happened and we lost. He's only got Aegis Shield. Oh, because he only has a 15% chance to get it. No, you only got Iron Arm, sorry. Um, okay, cool. So. I want some red. I think I need red and yellow seeds mainly. 
there a way? There's no way in game to find out how many seeds you've got, is there? Watching you use the build I use puts a smile on my face. Ah, uh, nice. Have you got you got exactly the same um, setup? Apothecary, Justicar, car, chaplain, apothe uh, apothecary, Justicar, car, chaplain, and librarian. It's pretty good, especially because they're all in Terminator armor as well. It feels like a real Terminator squad that would be deep striking into the enemies, into a, the heart of a space Hulk, and just like rending Xenos. Standing ready. There's achievements using four of each starting class in a mission, so four Justicars in the same mission. Yeah, nice. I could use it. I could use four. Four Justicars is pretty, pretty good. a purifier yet um yeah i think so yeah i think i've seen some um maybe i hired some but they didn't have good traits so i just recycled them again they once you start once you've gotten your first one they just start showing up in your um in your in your uh um, you know In seeds. You now I just need a plus three stun hammer. Yeah, yeah, if I had the plus three stun hammer, it would be, uh, it would be golden. Just like yeah, love it. Um, all right, we should be able to get a insta kill on this bad boy. I was you for the golden throne. That brother enjoys. Oh, yeah, he enjoys his work. And who and who wouldn't? How can you how can you blame him? Your orders.
Sad has a Sad has a good time as well. It's like he likes. He's a simple man. He likes smashing things with a hammer. You know what I mean? All right, we need to get set up over here, ready to uh, rock saw this uh, reinforcements pod. Unfortunately, they're going to screw up our buffs, which is annoying. My blade is yours. Onward, brothers. Is Crow worth buying? Mm, I don't know. Um, I haven't used Crow. Um, I think he's pretty good as a killer. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I haven't really used. I haven't used him. Like if yeah, you have if you have Crow like instead of your, instead of your interceptor or something like that. Uh, as long as you've got a, um, as long as you've got a librarian delivery system, then yeah, you just teleport your crow into battle and then let him kill everything. Probably like a librarian, um, crow purifier, and two justicars or something like that could be pretty good. Or a justicar and a chaplain or something. Justicar library, yeah, just like, yeah, justicar. Just like same squad as we've got now, but just replace either the just either the chaplain or the um, replace either the chaplain or the. Um... Oh, actually, he's not really good at stunning because he's got that stupid sword. No, I don't know. Yeah, you not good in this sort of this situation. I don't know. He could be okay, but just... yeah, I haven't got a setup for him. Praise the Emperor. My blade is yours. With me, my brothers. Hold my beer. I got this. in your back pocket. Yeah. Power. I strike true. How many points do you got there? Ten hit points. Uh, yeah. We should be able to do that with two... The Emperor lights our path. Taste my fury. Mercy in death. Yes, Commander. I blame the shell already. There's another warp rift. Me. As you come on, they come to their doom. Commander, we've made contact with the enemy.
Right. Um. Yeah, no one's going to be buffs anymore. Um. Unleash me. Need to change it so new brothers don't already have their talents points spent. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Crush them. My wrath is restored, brother. And the option to respect Crow would be... Oh! Can you respect Crow? You can't. He's probably got a special trait where you can never respect him, right? Uh, see you later, Geraldus. Have a good one, man. Thanks for hanging out. Where's the next bloom? Where's the bloom spawn? Ah, oh, that one. All right, cool. All right, we'll, we'll get the librarian. Standing ready. Get him to start heading over there. None may hide from our warp sight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I think if we go there, we should still be pretty sweet. My way. Your command. Is that only one action point? Oh yeah, cool. So you can use it like a melee attack and you'll actually move and do the ability. That's pretty good. Yeah, no, I won't forget about the... Don't worry, Gavin, I won't forget about the... Uh, the group. Attitude. Right, we got a 
spawn. Got us. Oh yeah, I want those red seeds These too. heretics will suffer the ultimate punishment. The last one might be a little bit whack because we have to go around the back here, but we can, I reckon we can probably bum rush it. This rock. I'm gonna put one of these on each. That'll be okay. This chaplain's like ready. just power leveling. Married me, bitch. Hurry that. Oh, he. Now should be stunned. This is coming with me. Beautiful. And then we just need. I am here to serve. Come on. Good to see you, this bad boy. Another falls to the Knights of Titan. The Emperor lights our path. Nice. Uh, actually, yeah, we'll just shoot normally. He's got buffs. Chaplain's got buffs. Librarian does not buffs. Okay, so we'll try and buff the librarian if we can. Should be able to kill him, no problem, yep. So, we'll... What is your will? So this should cost only I think it just costs one action point to run and do it, right? So it should get into four. Oh, 
among impurities. Oh yeah, he got his section point back, he went back up to five again. Yeah. Our off is restored, brother. Stream stuff around. Um, sorry, yeah, I've got my like, crappy Australian internet. Might be, um, might be playing up a bit. Advancing. I sense their presence. They're worth a bit, aren't they? They are worth a bit. Okay, um... What is your will? As all done. More seeds. Seeds for the throne of corn. What is your will? I'll try and... Yeah, he's got, he's got enough willpower to pop, um, to pop around the corner. Unleash me. You don't really need to move these guys up, but just in case. On my way. So you're liking the authority? Yeah, I'm liking the, I'm liking the apothecary in this team. But I'm feeling like it wouldn't work as well with the early game team. Like I feel like I feel like double Justicar interceptor, um, double Justicar interceptors and librarian is better when you first get a librarian. Well, actually, no, that's not really. Yeah. So, what would you have? Uh, actually, no. Actually, if I start again, if I wanted to do a melee team again, I would start again. I'd probably go. Double Justicar, um, Interceptor, Apothecary. Yeah. Because it would be pretty good. I want to know if you play Stellaris, and if you do, do you recommend the Deluxe Edition or the Starter Pack? Ugh. Yeah, that's one. I, yeah, it's a really hard one with that John Giovanni. I had the same exact problem. I'm not an expert in Stellaris, so I'm probably the wrong person to ask, but... But yeah, I, I had the same problem. It's like, there's so much DLC and it was like, it was going to cost me like, uh, you know, like a hundred bucks to get all of the DLC, like every single DLC. But then again, it's one of those games where if you're going to play it, you want all the DLC, you want everything, you know? Um, it's a bit like, a bit like Whammer, you know? But Whammer is a much better game now, I'd say. But it depends on your, on your taste. Some people I'm sure would prefer that type of game, but yeah. Um, anyway, um, basically, um, if you know that you really like it, then I guess get it all. I had a really good experience the first time I played Stellaris, and I imagine it just gets better once you um, once you unlock more DLC and stuff. But it's not as good as like I'd rather play this than Stellaris, and I'd rather play Warhammer 2 than Stellaris. So you know what I mean? It's not like you have to only have one or the other. But if I was going to spend like 200 bucks on a game, I'd rather spend it on Warhammer than Stellaris. But that's just my personal opinion. Uh, should we take out this guy again, or we just maybe we just finish it? I mean, we probably could take him out. Actually, this terrain's fucked up. Nah, we'll just, nah, we'll just get it, get this one over and now we keep things moving.
Yes, Commander. Standing ready. Yeah, we'll give Atlanta Knights some um, fifty percent crit. Give all our action points to the chaplain. Meditate. Probably could get more. Um, My blade is use. Or less. Here. Your command. Yes, Commander. I am here to serve. Gonna get those, get that seed. This is coming with me. I'm gonna go vote. It's a federal election in Australia, so we're going to go and vote and see who our new, the new um, marketing executive, head marketing executive is for our country. Hey, Sherm TV, how you going, man? Just got past the part where you discover all the seeds, so pretty far behind still. Oh, and it's not a race, you know, everyone's, you know, play your own story. But um, yeah, I'm glad you're playing, man. I'm glad you're enjoying the game. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I've got this new kitten. Some of you have met her already. She just came in, ran ran around the room in a circle, like past my feet, like bashed through it past my legs and stuff, and then just ran back out again. She's just having fighting her invisible battles. She's hunting demons. I must refocus, Commander. Pro tip, the Seed Extractor server Skull would be your best friend for getting all the multi-seeds. Eh, I don't know if you really need it though. I'll fill the seat from this rot! Is this Skull Guy a special character? Yeah, that's um, the, that's the chaplain. He's like the the battle priest of the chapter. Um, he, um, yeah, looks after the spiritual well-being of his brothers. Unleash me, orders. I wonder if he can shoot it. Mm, not really. Unleash me. If it gets a crit. Oh, yeah, we go. All the cast gods, who's your favorite? Curse it! Cannot focus! I don't know. We kind of like them all about equally, I'd say. Mm, oh, no, not. Not equally. I don't know. I don't really have a favorite. Like, I wouldn't want to have to choose one and not, not have access to the others, you know? I think they are all, like, they're a pantheon, and you kind of think, if you're going to take one, you need to take them all. Like, they're all part of the system. 
But I guess in order, I'd probably go... I don't know, it depends on my mood, you know? Yeah, corn's probably my favorite, I guess. But I don't like I don't like how people oversimplify corn. Like I mean, corn's pretty simple, I guess. But um, but yeah, I guess chaos undivided. I suppose it'd be like chaos undivided, corn, Zeech. Zeech and Nurgle kind of tied, and then Slanesh. But uh, like I but uh, like Slanesh is the lowest on that list. But I like Slanesh as well. I just I just don't want to serve Slanesh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I don't want to be a Slaneshite. But I like that Slanesh exists. It's kind of like Skaven. Like, I kind of hate Skaven, but I love that they exist. I think they're one of the most, the coolest and most iconic races in the game. But I, I don't want to play as a Skaven, if you know what I mean. Same with Beastmen. Like, I think Beastmen are one of the coolest and most iconic races in the game. In, but, they, but I don't want to be one. You know? Oh yeah, what's this? Is that a cro- uh, that's a staff. It'd be good if we could get some Crozius Arcanums. Uh, yeah, nothing really special there. Yeah, I'd probably go for Chaos Undivided as my highest one. I kind of like- I like the individualistic kind of- Like when Chaos is portrayed in stories and stuff like that, I like the bespoke Chaos gods and stuff like- I feel like because it's a war game, a lot of the chaos stuff is very generic, you know, like like um like Chaos Warriors if you're playing as a fantasy or if you're playing 40k, it's like um you know, trader marines, chaos marines. Like they're just sort of generic chaos marines. But it, but in like if you like in the lore or in like real life sort of as it were, like each one of those chaos marines would be his own like his own unique character with his own gifts and mutations and psychology and you know like a, yeah i guess i'm more into the, the role play aspect of it yeah so i don't i just i don't like how chaos gets portrayed in the simplified version like i feel like chaos should be more Stop. yeah i don't know diverse and crazy we just went up two levels that time what do we do with him now Words of power gives crit damage. Oh, oh this is, oh, we can only use this twice. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, we're going to do three times. Oh, so we only get three action points out of this. That's weird. I thought it was like, yeah, I don't know. It seemed like it just was going on forever. The crit damage is only when you're using Litany of Power, but I'm using Litany of Hate. Um, warp charge, cybolt, or force strike. Plus, so altogether it'd be 50% chance. Hmm, I don't know what to go for next. You'll use Litany of Power for bosses. Oh, yeah, true, true. Yeah, bosses. Yeah, good call. Yeah, good call. I like this plus two armor permanently as well. The tank. What an absolute beast. Um, oh yeah, and this one where you give, give your willpower, um, to give them, to give it to another knight, that's pretty good too. I don't think I'll take this auto, auto section here though. Um, oh, extra equipment slot would be really good. No, I haven't to get, I haven't, no, that sucked. Ruthless precision would be nice. Yeah, that would be really good, actually. But I have to go... Resistance. Resistance. Hmm.
Yeah, I want to get up in there. I, will, I do want to take the crit and the armor as well, um, but I want that. At the moment, I'm using him as my main killer, so I want to focus on his DPS output first, and then um, once we finish, yeah, once we get that ruthless precision. Oh, actually, no, I did take it, didn't I? Well, yeah, whatever. I should have gone for ruthless precision, but it's fine. We'll get it eventually. Um, okay, so we've got this next I might um I might as I said we've got to go vote and then we've got some other stuff to do um after that we're gonna go look at some look at some houses we're gonna try and put ourselves in a lifetime of debt so um gotta get onto that um but um but yeah I might um I actually leave it with this um this epic mission ready to go at the start of tomorrow's stream um so yeah i think i will continue this tomorrow um yeah hopefully we'll be soon um hopefully soon we'll be getting into the sort of end game um we've got 21 days before we research this domination of codex and then um yeah does anyone know like how much longer it's going to take probably to finish the campaign like when i do this can i then straight away do the final mission or is there like a whole series of more exploits that i need to do before that kind of happens uh i'm yeah i was sort of well i'm not really hoping that it'll end but i was sort of expecting that maybe tomorrow we'll finish the campaign but um i don't know i've never played it before so i've got no idea <laughs> There's a mission after that, and then another research, and then the final mission. Oh, okay, so it's probably going to take us another two days, maybe. Okay, well, that's good to know, anyway. Yeah, yeah, so I think I'll continue with this tomorrow. Um, and then I am hankering to play some Woma, but we'll knock this off, but we'll finish this off first. Either we win or we die, and then we um, and then we do some Woma. Maybe some Dwarfs, or maybe some Wolfheart. Um, probably I'll probably do two Warhammer campaigns after this, and then maybe we'll come back and do another one or something another chaos gate one all right well um thanks so much guys for hanging out and um thanks for everyone who subscribed as i said really appreciate it thanks for my new two new moderators and thanks for everybody who's been really good in the chat and um just making all the streams really fun and stuff um thanks to um thanks to um uh warsmith for the uh the super chat i think he left now but um but yeah much appreciated man very generous and i'll just have a quick check and see if there's anybody that we can throw a host out to Are you blinded? Race text doesn't matter. Oh, I, yeah, I don't know anything about this gentleman, but um, his name is Final Boss TV. He's got like seventy thousand subscribers, so um, he's a lot bigger than my channel. But um, but um, him, but he maybe he doesn't normally do Chaos Gate, so he doesn't have uh, that many people watching his stream right now. So if you guys want to go and um, well. I don't know, I guess it's not really supporting a small streamer, but support, support a big streamer. <laughs> Here to go and support a big streamer. Um, say hi from me. Um, I don't know, you know, maybe he might like some advice or, or whatever. He, he, he doesn't have that many people in his chat right now. So, um, yeah, if you want to go and um, say hi to um, Final Boss TV, that's a link to his um, like to link to his stream. Um, yeah, I, I don't know anything about him or, um, you know, or what he's doing, but, um, but yeah, could be fun. <laughs> anyway. Um, catch you guys. Have a good one and um, I'll see you all next time.